Hello, hello, friends. Welcome in. Welcome into the stream. I hope you're doing well today on this Sunday, February 13th, the day before Valentine's Day. We're going to be playing a game about Lurv uh, here shortly. But let me go ahead and open up some things. Then we will begin. Lurv, Mr. Sassy, welcome in. How are you? Also, hold on, we'll get there in a second. Just one second. <laughs> uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. I think we are good to go ahead and switch over. Let's do that. Welcome in, friends. How are you doing today? Uh, Mr. Sassy, what I was going to say is I remember, I think it was Friday, you said that you had resubscribe for six months and it, it like the no no thing played yesterday during the stream during the jet wave it went it actually went through i i saw the little notification thing pop up so there it goes and at that time i couldn't say thank you but mr panda thank you so much for resubscribing <laughs> and sassy you welcome in that's weird yeah so now i see it <clears throat> now i see that um uh, it's, it shows up in my activity feed, so I <laughs> want to make sure I gave a proper thank you. But hello! Long time no see. Uh, <laughs> over at uh, Gizmo's channel. But I wanted to hop on. I think we are... Today and tomorrow, we're going to be playing two different indie games. Uh, both of which are about love-ish, I think. Um, <laughs> and so, at least might be loosely related. A theme, perhaps. Um, but they're shorter games, and I figured, why not? It's already Valentine's Day in the future in Australia, and tomorrow it'll be Valentine's Day for all of us, so I thought, why not? Um, also, I can't remember, is there a Valentine's Day thing in Animal Crossing? can't remember. I think maybe the characters mention it. I think your villagers mention that it's Valentine's. Or or they call it something else. But I think they maybe mention it, but there's not like a big event or anything. Uh, but anyway. Um, yeah, so I just, uh, I, I was like, I kind of want to play these two games. I've actually had these two games for a bit. Would like to play them. Um, so it just felt like the right time, but Emmers, welcome in. And it's also felt like the past, you get chocolates. Yeah, I think that's what it is, Valk. I think that's what you're, I think that's right. The villagers send you chocolates, uh, or they give you chocolates or something like that. Um, I know there are some special items currently available. There's, um, uh, well, you can buy chocolates. You can get the, um, bouquets there's like the carnations i think something like that um but uh, but welcome in how are you doing how's your week been uh but i also kind of wanted to play a game today because um it's it's felt like this past week has felt so crazy because we really only played two of our normal games we finished uh it takes two with talonis on friday which is a special thing and then we had a jet wave yesterday so that was a special thing so I was like, oh, it felt, it feels like we haven't had a chance to really play anything um, that we normally would. Um, yeah, there's some roses and chocolate. That's what it is. I think, yeah, it's roses. Um, I should know I bought some. That's fair. And Emmers, uh, thank you for sending me uh, the Venetian masks. That's currently in the the special seasonal seasonal shop. Um, I've actually been working on my island a ton these past couple of days. Uh, I've, I've had some ideas, and so I'm just kind of, like, switching up some things, but... And thanks for the bag, not a problem. The, uh, Kix had it, so I was like, I, was like, I don't know if Emmers has this one. So I sent it. Um, today, so, occasionally for work, I have to do these different, like, uh, photo shoot type things, or, like, record a video for, for a thing, and, um... When I do, though, because I actually leave most of my equipment set up 
for stream or for whatever. Uh, but it's usually like on tripods. I have my lights set up. I have like uh, it's it, my my photo gear and stuff isn't usually like set to go. And so last week um, I had uh, talked to someone about doing a, a photo thing today. Um, but I am somebody who I always try to like confirm with the person, especially if it was sort of like more of like a loose plan. I usually try to confirm the day before. So I messaged them yesterday and was like, hey, uh, does tomorrow still work for you? Uh, let me know, blah, blah, blah. Didn't hear anything. And then today, uh, like, probably like four hours before. Um, yeah, just about, about four hours before, um, uh, we would have met. I messaged them again. I was like, Hey, so again, just let me know. <laughs> uh, I, I need to like pack up my gear and stuff and get it all ready. So I need like at least, uh, like I need to know by at least 11 if I need to, uh, be there. Uh, so please let me know. Uh, and then I think I sent them one more message after that, just like a quick, like just checking, like want to make sure you see this. Um, didn't hear from them at all until they were like, "I'm on my way," <laughs> like uh, ten minutes before we were like like supposed to have met, I guess. Um, and so I had to tell them I was like, "Yeah, I <laughs> not ready. Uh, I tried messaging you. I don't know. You must have." Miss my messages, but I, I tried to um, tried to confirm. Uh, well, and they were like, uh, they, they said something about Sundays are usually really busy for them, so that's probably why they didn't see my messages. I was like, well, I also messaged you yesterday, uh, <laughs> so that's this was a. I usually try to confirm the day before a, a shoot or something, because I also need to like clear out my memory cards make sure the batteries are charged but then i have to like pack all the stuff into bags and and do all, all that sort of stuff so i feel i feel sort of bad because i'm like i i feel bad that they they thought everything was still like uh, scheduled i guess but i i always i always like confirm things i always like to make sure because especially if it's like a week has passed there's been no communication since then like, since when we first mentioned it. Um, I think we chatted about it last Saturday. Um, and, uh, yeah, it, it, I, always, I always like to make sure the day before, like, we're still planned. There's no conflicts. Everything still works. I know things can change, especially if it's not something that's, like, super high priority or anything like that and to be fair at least what's nice is that they were they were pretty understanding at the very least when i was like they tried to see if i could get it to work uh and i also the place that we would be taking pictures um is across town from me um so i was like with packing uh packing my gear um it's currently snowing so i need to wipe my car off like of all the snow drive across town like at least an hour ish probably before i can even get there uh plus i had already messed by this point i had already said in the discord that i was gonna start streaming it around this time so i was like i don't know i <laughs> i feel like if i at least have told you guys i'm going to start i should probably do that um but See, I've been using uh, relax time to work on my flowers. That I never managed before. That's fun. And on your on your island, that's awesome. I am so bad at um, crossbreeding flowers and stuff. I I feel like I've never really been able to to get it, unless it's just something that like has naturally happened. But um, I ended up mostly just enlisting help for with collecting all the flowers. I now at least have. I have one of each flower somewhere on my island. They're usually grouped together by by that type. Um, there's a bunch of like wild flowers, but um, I tried to at least get one of each type and kind of like kept them together. Um, but I sort of had to just recruit people uh, <laughs> to help me. Secret Life helped a lot. Um, that's actually how we met. 
um, is uh, uh, through the subreddit um, No Fee AC. I think. I'm thinking. I can't remember if either she had flowers and was offering them to people, or if I asked for flowers and she responded. I can't remember which which was which. Uh, but she actually stopped by my island even before I started streaming. Maybe I just started or something like that. But anyway, yeah, it, it was. It's kind of funny. Um. There's some cool crossbreeds uh, from Natural Crossing and purposeful, but relaxed, uh, but relaxed people. But I have mixed flowers everywhere, so I needed to manage them. That's fair. Uh, <laughs> that's fair. Um, <laughs> it does get out of hand really, really fast. Um, I actually had to turn off the. Um, so when the newest update happened, I selected the beautification. Uh, what are those called? Um, ordinance? There we go. Ordinances. Um, I, I set up the, like, the beautification ordinance. I forget without what, whatever that one is. Um, and my flowers just kept exploding everywhere. Like, they just kept growing. And so I, I turned that off. Um, <laughs> now I have it set to... Uh, like the late night hours, so the store is open for a little bit longer. It's a little bit better. Uh, I, I I just had to turn that off because it was just getting out of hand. And I understand the checking ahead of time. I always check to make sure I'm not waiting and some forgot. Yeah, totally. Because I have 100% been there. Um, I've been on the flip side of that, where I'm like, oh, I thought we had confirmed everything. Uh... And so I went and I was, and you know, was waiting or whatever. And then they would be like, oh, well, I didn't think that we had like made solid, solid plans or whatever. So I always like to make sure because it's also, and the, the way I think about it too, with this stuff is like, uh, it's kind of, it's, a, it's kind of tedious and a lot of work because I leave everything set up, um, in, in kind of the, like a studio type setting. To go and like to go somewhere to go take pictures I have to tear everything down it's kind of a pain and then uh, coming back I have to reset everything back up and so it's like it's actually a lot of time to, to, to do a thing so going to take pictures is it's not just as easy as cool I just have my camera already in the bag and I just need to just leave and, and get over there it's like cool I have to you know, tear everything down, make sure everything's charged and ready. There's space on my um, cards. Um, you know, a whole bunch of us. It's a whole bunch of stuff. And then also all the while trying to make sure that like, uh, so my camera that I use is actually the one, uh, the one that I use for photography is actually the one that I'm using for my webcam currently. Um, and it's on a tripod. And so when I do take it down, um, I actually try to leave the tripod as untouched as possible, so that way when I come back, uh, I don't have to adjust the camera as much to get back into this, in, like, to stream setting. Because if you guys ever notice, like, just, like, little things might seem like, uh, so when you guys use the, um, you know, like, my laugh emote... <laughs> You see how that's like a little bit off? <laughs> it's because of the last time that I've I switched my camera. Uh, it's I just like gets tweaked a little bit. So let's see if I move this way. <laughs> if I move this way, let's see what happens. Uh, whoops. Is that better? Is this better? Closer. <laughs> Closer. So I tried. So it's like a lot of work. <laughs> Maybe if I, hold on, maybe if I do this. Uh, <laughs> whoops, yeah, that's not too bad. Where is, um, that one could be moved over. Put that over there. Do that. That one's pretty good. And then, yeah, there we go. Done easy 
Uh, yeah, even with friends, we sometimes forget. Our times change, so most often it helps to avoid any upset. Totally. That is, yeah, and that's totally me. I like to confirm things. Usually I want to make sure that plans are still on. Even like, Because you never know if, if something has changed, something has come up. And in the midst of that, you know, maybe they just forget to tell you or whatever. So I'm usually like a cool, let me call and confirm. Let me double check with this person. And so I tried messaging. I feel like I did. I Part of me feels bad because I'm like, oh, I feel like they thought everything was good to go. Um, but I feel like I did a good enough job of trying to confirm with them. If, it, if I had just messaged them today, maybe that wouldn't have been as much of a heads up. But I also tried yesterday and didn't hear anything. So today was like a follow-up. You know, yesterday was a check-in. Today was a follow-up. Like, okay, I <laughs> I need to know by this time, please, um, if, <laughs> if I need to be somewhere. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, it's just, that's just how it goes. Hopefully, you know, it, it's, it shouldn't be too big of a deal, but... I was just thinking about that because they they well, I was just talking about it before I started stream, so I was like, <sighs> um, but anyway, um, I hope you I hope your weeks are going well, your your days. Um, yesterday uh, we had an interview, we had a special special stream. We interviewed our buddy Tank Media Games. Um, that vod is available on Twitch now, um, but it'll be going up on the YouTube channel probably tomorrow. Um, so if you guys have missed it, don't worry. It'll be immortalized forever on the internet. Um, we're going to be doing more jet waves. That's what that's called, the interview. Um, we did one back in September. Um, uh, we ha we're planning on doing s uh, some kind of in the middle, but really haven't had a chance to do one until now. Um, so we'll, we'll be doing more interviews. His pub is adorable, it is. Uh, <laughs> it is. Um, it, Mia... Is just uh, an adorable little pup. Um, good old puppers. Um, but that was a fun interview. We, I feel like we chatted a lot um, about some good stuff. Some good, and I like hearing. I, I don't know what it's like for everyone else. I kind of like hearing what what streaming and stuff is like for other people because everyone has a different experience. Even if there's a lot of like shared common experiences everyone kind of relates to it differently and like has a different you know perspective on things so i find it interesting um at the very least i i think i'm learning something when i do these um so we'll we'll be continuing we'll be continuing that we'll be doing more um eventually i would love to to expand out from streamers and do like um i know some other people who do other creations um and uh, other entertainment works, and so it'd be fun to like chat with some some different peeps. But um, we'll see, see how it all goes. I have some ideas for the next ones. Um, but uh, anyway, but yeah. So yeah, the today's been besides besides me trying to f figure out times and stuff with somebody. Um, it's been pretty good been a pretty chill day it's snowing right now it's actually snowing quite a bit um and uh though it's not too cold it actually i think it, it got a little warm today but it's it's just gonna be snowing yeah um it's 32 runner welcome in i was i, I always expect it to come with a message. <laughs> womp womp. Um, and so <laughs> sometimes I, I stop uh, and, and anticipate Juliet to speak to me. But 32 is warm. Yes, it is warm. Um, it, <laughs> it, it, it honestly feels pretty warm, but. <laughs> but 32 is literally freezing. It is. I know. <laughs> I know it is. But. It's just, it's warm. It feels warm for us, I guess. Shorts weather. It actually, I, I have learned that I can wear shorts up to 13 degrees or down to 13 degrees um, and be like, okay, I'm not going to be like standing out in the cold in 13 with shorts, but I can 
potentially, but I just like wearing like sweatpants pretty much all year round, so it's 16 here right now, so I agree with it being warmer. <laughs> Indeed. And and at least here um, in Alaska, when it's mostly in like the single digits during the winter time, when it goes up to 32, it's like, woo, like it is a warm day outside. Um, uh, I was recently in 13 degrees a few days ago and I lost feelings in my fingers for 10 minutes. No, that's right. You guys got hit by, by that cold snap. Um, is it back to normal now? <laughs> I need a version of that where it's the opposite. It's like, instead of it being toasty, it's like icy. <laughs> Maybe I should do that for next, like, Christmas. Instead of doing, so for every Christmas, we do like Christmas themed emotes. Um, usually the, the, the toasty one has like a Christmas tree behind it. But maybe what I'll do is I'll change the fire to like ice or something. That'd be kind of fun. <laughs> um, uh, but for my little part-time job on the side, I do audits for companies and I audit a Target's freezer. Oh, well. They kept it at 14 degrees? Oh, no. Oh, so that's what you mean. Wait, yeah. I was recently in 13 degrees. Is that what you mean? That you were in the, the freezer? <laughs> Snow stuck in the here. Beard icicles? Oh, that'd be amazing. Absolutely. We should do that. Uh, we should do that. I will say that is one of the things... The, I, it's a simple joy, but for some reason I love it when it is snowing and just snow gets like stuck in my hair and beard. I don't know why, but I always like it. Always like this feels this feels nice. Um, <laughs> your eye your eyelashes I what eyelashes eyelashes had icicles. I think I was already getting to icicles. <laughs> eyelashes. <laughs> anyway. Uh, had icicles. That's ter I lice. Yeah, <laughs> that, that sounds terrible. Yeah, no, thank you. No, thank you. We'll pass on the I lice. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, that happens. I mean, I, I don't think I've really had icicles like form on my eyelashes, but, um, for sure on my beard, I've had that happen. We're like, Especially around my mouth, it gets frozen. Felt magical today because uh, we had fluffy snow and it was all my hair. That's amazing. I love that. It's a, it's just a fun feeling. Maybe like it would get really annoying after an extended period of time, but it's it's just nice. I don't like brush it off. Like if I am on the way to like a grocery store or something and then it's it's everywhere, I don't brush it off. I just just carry it with me. But I can understand how all you cold people feel warm in 32 degrees because I went from the 14 degree freezer to their 35 degree cooler and I had to take the coat off. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it, it just, there's it, I mean, I know it doesn't sound like there'd be that big of a difference, but it feels like there is. Um, and in the same way, I mean, I'm sure there is like I feel very hot here in Alaska when we're at 65. Like, I'm starting to be like, oof, it's real hot outside. <laughs> so the flip side of that is, I in the summertime, I just start to melt. Um, whereas I'm sure you are probably much more resilient in the heat than I am. But normally, uh, coming out of 50 degree cold front, 32 feels like OMG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could see that. That would make, That makes sense. <laughs> Um, yeah, it, but I, I just love the cold. So I, I got used to it and I enjoy it. So I think that also is a, a bit of a difference because I don't really enjoy the heat. So like the summertime, I'm already like, oh no. I'm in Michigan and it's cold more than it is hot, but the change in season kills me every time. Yes. Agreed. I actually usually get sick right around the time temperatures change though I actually haven't really been sick for the past 
two years because <laughs> I've been mostly been indoors. A little something. I don't know if you guys have heard of it, um, but uh, <laughs> there's something keeping me inside um, for the past two years. Um, so I haven't had to deal with that as much. I, everything's a little bit more regulated. I think there were a couple of times where I started to feel sick, but it was mostly like right in that in between stage of like having to turn on the heater or turning off the heater or whatever. But um, we don't have uh, most homes in Alaska don't have uh, like central AC. So all I have is a heater. Um, uh, and then I just have like stand up fans uh, for for the summertime. But um, usually in that transitional period, I, I start to feel a little sick. But um, it hasn't really been too bad over the past couple of years. When I lived in Oregon, we just opened our windows for AC. Yeah, that's totally, totally what happens here too. Um, I didn't know you used to live in Oregon, Runner. Uh, I, I thankfully have only had a sinus, infe sinus infection and a little cold once for the past two years. Nice. Uh, oh, no way. That's awesome. How long did you live there? Um, yeah, I don't think... I, I honestly haven't really been sick. Um, it's mostly been, like... Feelings of am I feel am I getting sick and then just being sort of like no I think I'm fine. Um, it's hard to tell sometimes because I'm usually very nasally anyways. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I feel like I can't always tell. You lived there for three years. That's awesome. Oregon seems like it'd be a pretty cool place, um, but I've never been. Never seen it. Um. Uh, oh, by the way, Emmers, how is Lost Ark? I saw that you were playing that, and I saw that actually some people recently were talking about it. So, I was I'm I'm curious. Loved it so much, tempted to go back. Awesome, awesome. Oh, by the way, I feel like I should show you guys this. I think a few of you would appreciate it. Um, speaking of, uh. I saw you playing it, and I wanted to, bug to ask you how it is. Yeah, tell us how it is. Um, speaking of, of uh, Animal Crossing, the other day, um, I don't know if you guys were here, but the other day when we played Animal Crossing for Boomer's birthday, um, that square guy came over, and uh, he fished. I actually didn't know who he was initially, because... Uh, I didn't recognize his in-game name. I actually did not know what his real name was. Um, <laughs> so I was thrown for a loop, but I was like, clearly this person is somebody that I know, but I, ju I just don't know who it is. Um, but uh, he stopped by, and he really went for... Um, how do I describe that? <laughs> like, okay, do you know there's a like the co there's like a hat that is very common amongst fisher people that says women want me fish fear me or something like that well he was wearing a cap in game that said fish fear me and then we sort of like made some jokes about like just riffing on that idea of being overly dramatic uh, or sanctimonious about fishing and whatever and so he would go on these like poetry dumps of just like uh, uh, about of, of just talking about the sea and fish and whatever and it ended up being this whole thing but I ended up just taking like a ton of photos of him and so I made a thing uh, I posted it in his discord um, but I'll show it to you guys now I, it actually turned out pretty decent um but I'll, I'll show you to you guys right here uh hold on <laughs> let me uh wait where is this where is this i need to turn this on monitor and output there we go so i can hear it because i don't know how loud this is um but i made this uh, i made this for him i was like this is to commemorate the first time you appeared on my island 
This is actually one of the things he said on <laughs> uh, while he was here, but. So I, I, I made a little slideshow showcasing some of the images of, uh, <laughs> of, of what we did. And honestly, I think it turned out pretty good. These are like, I mean, what, Nintendo. You want to use these photos for something. I remarked on how it looked like he was behind bars uh, with the, the fishing rods there. See, and even though it's out of focus, it says so much. It says something. There's some sighing on the, the pier. Anyway, I, uh, <laughs> I worked on that for a little bit yesterday. Sometimes, like, uh, I, sometimes you just have an idea and you're just like, I need to create this. I know I have other things that I need to do, but I think I need to do that as sort of like a palate cleanser or, or a refresher. That's what that was. Uh... Also, M and I came over, but I guess that's not exact. No, no, you did. I know. I actually saved some of those photos. I have to show you. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys. Uh, I do actually have. I saved them. Uh, hold on. Where are you? Where's my? Nope. What's funny is though, uh, Emmers took a whole bunch of photos. Um, I have. I think photos at around the same time, but they're from a completely different angle. So, like, like I have this. <laughs> I think you were taking a photo at this moment, and like, here's here's this one. So I have like, I have like the behind the scenes photos. Um, I have like the behind the scenes photos of the event. Well, you have like the the professional, that boomer selfie, um, who brings their own vegetables. To <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, this was when. Oh, I just noticed. Yeah, this is when I didn't even see. This is what you were doing. <laughs> that's right. Uh, Runner was eating potatoes at Boomer's uh, birthday party. I was like, where where did you get those? You like just kept eating things. Uh, <laughs> I was like, what is happening right now? Um, that is hilarious. I completely forgot about that. And I looked at these yesterday, and I I didn't even notice that that's what you were holding. But yeah, I have a bunch more. Uh, though I think you have one that's very similar to this, Emmers. But, um, uh, but it's just fun. I was looking at it, I was like, I have a few of the same photos that you posted, but they're just from, like, an extreme angle. <laughs> um... That was so fun. Boomer had a good birthday. Um, I, I I took down his uh, his like setup, but good day, Nikolai. Welcome in. How are you? Uh, uh, he had a, he had a good birthday. Um, and then I've just been on the island. Uh, I I'm fixing a few things, adjusting a few things, and I think it's looking pretty good overall. I would say. Uh, by the way, I didn't mention this. Today, I, I did mention we're playing a game that's uh, maybe about love. Maybe about love. Um, uh, we're going to be doing that today and tomorrow. It's two different games. Uh, but today, we're playing a game called Florence. It's in the title. But I figured um, I'd mention that now. We're playing a game called Florence. I think it's a pretty short game. Like, maybe two hours. Maybe less than that, um, in fact. I think that the, the average time to beat, I think, is less than two. Um, <clears throat> gotten yelled at by people for being fake good. Uh, <laughs> what what game are you playing, Nikolai? Uh, so let me see. How long to beat? Florence. 
yeah, it, <laughs> the average time to beat is 41 minutes. So it's going to be a pretty short um, game time. Oh, nice. Very cool. The picture of the three of us looking like the new pop band, the Bubble Gummers. I love it. I love it. It <laughs> it really. I'm. Um, I can see a small preview from my uh, Finder window, and yeah, I see that totally. That actually, that area is one that I was messing with. Um, since we have, I mean, since the game is only forty minutes, maybe I can show you what I worked on today. Even though I have to reopen up Animal Crossing. Um, but I was trying to figure out what games to play for, like, Valentine's Day, and I was like, what did we do last year? I think we maybe just played Animal Crossing. Or did we do anything at all? I don't remember. Um, but, uh... <laughs> womp womp. There we go. Uh, thank you for those bits, Runner. Um... Yeah, I was trying to figure out what we what we played last year, but I don't remember if we played anything super special. I think we did Animal Crossing. Um, so I was trying to figure out... We're going to pop over here for a second, and I'll mute this. We'll just keep listening to our lo-fi. I want to show you guys what I was working on. Um, and I'm, I'm in the middle of one area. Um, but... Uh, I was like, what should we play? And uh, I, I ended up siding with these two indie games. One of which that I had for a while. Um, Florence I've had for a super long time in the other game. Oh, look at Boomer. Look at him in his little Santa hat and lollipop. I always dig running into you, hero. How's things? It's my second time running into you today. First was in your dreams. Sorry, I wandered in by accident. Um, I need to do something more with this upper area. We're going to do some more stuff up here. Um, but uh, we'll enter through here. Um, you know I'm always looking for more ways to make my island a little bit more zen. So that's kind of what I was working on. Um, but this is the area. A slow walk, a slow walk through. Want to give you guys, you want to give you guys time to like soak it all in. Um, but this whole area I did yesterday, so now we have like a nice little like kind of shrine building. It looks pretty cool at night, I think, because we've got like the the lanterns and stuff. Um, I finally got a. I was have been looking for a place to to put this bath um, and I was like oh this would be perfect so more trees more cedar trees I know that's exactly what my island was missing was cedar trees um, and so I added a ton what's kind of cool is you can get like a good view up here um, so if you look up here you get like a, I don't know I, I, I think this looks really dope um, and I think this looks better overall in this area before we had like the rivers and like the Zen stuff. And I think this overall looks better. So that's what we've got. Um, I'm now trying to, so we, we have this area here with the, the seating, but there's besides vines or using a ladder, there's no way to get up here. And so I'm actually trying to make a little place here. This is where I stopped uh, earlier today. Um, but I'm going to make another little, like, seating area building um, that will... Uh, that'll... I think we'll, I'll put, like, a an incline here. And then... Uh, so that way, there will be like a walkway to get to to this this area here because I think this looks this looks cool and now especially that there's like something in the background too it's kind of a cool spot but 
Um, oh yeah, I was playing Lost Ark earlier when we were talking about cold weather stories and had one. Ooh. Also, are you enjoying? Oh yeah, you said it's really good for a free game. Yes, I, I think you said that. It's actually pretty good being a free game. Okay. Uh, did we do? Oh, we might have been doing Roki. I can't remember. We for sure that was winter time. I think right. I think I would have wait. I think I would have played that game during winter. Um, need some uh, some more of these. Also, so I want to put. I'm gonna put another one of these like retro train. No retro something. I forget what these are called. I'm gonna put another one here, uh, and then. I don't know what else will go here, but we'll think of something. Um, I was having a sleepover at a friend's for one night, and for some reason only wore a spring jacket, shorts, Crocs, and knee-length socks. The next day, it was like a blizzard, snowed like a foot, and friends decided that we wanted to walk around town for fun. Oh, no. So I'm walking behind them, trying to step in their foot. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, Emmers. That sounds awful. <laughs> that just sounds... Just terrible. Uh, <laughs> so we're heading back. Yes, yes, yes. Tell us more. While, we're, while you're doing that, I'm just going to look at this real quick. I need to get these changed. By the way, Boomer gave me two of his photos, uh, like, back to back. It was kind of crazy, actually. Um, is this the right color? I think it is. Uh, so we're heading back. Uh, and we're almost back. And I stopped turning around and noticed I lost my croc like 15 feet back. And you hadn't noticed? Were your, like, <laughs> were your feet, like, numb? Oh, no. No, I walked that far and didn't notice. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I'm like, well, I guess I'm losing my foot. Oh, no. I think my six-month sub ends in a couple of weeks. That's crazy. I last actively subbed to you in early October. That's crazy. I remember, Runner, you said, you better keep streaming for six months, and that's the only reason why I've kept streaming. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> Emmers, that is so intense. <laughs> that is... That is so intense. Th and that would be so cold, too. I don't envy you. <laughs> have a custom station here. Um, uh, let's do... Whoops. Um, dang, though. Well, in Vermont, in, like, the summer, there isn't really a whole lot of options for, like, swimming, so you go into the rivers and creeks. Oof. Dang. Smaller ones can be pretty cool. I bet. I mean, water also feels just, like, super cold anyways. Uh, uh, when, it, when it starts to get into the wintertime. So you get used to, like, the numbing your body to the elements, I suppose, so... Just don't get frostbite. <laughs> just, just don't. Just please don't get frostbite. Uh. <laughs> oh, hold on. Let's change this one. I'm actually using some of these panels that I've had forever. That I've needed to... Uh... But do get a bite of frosty, indeed. 
Now this might be a hot take. I I don't prefer Wendy's Frosties in general. But if I do uh have one. Um I we I like I prefer vanilla. <laughs> I prefer vanilla Frosties over chocolate ones. I feel like that's a, a hot take. I don't think people usually order vanilla ones. Which one did I just do? Did I do a window? I think so. The one sponsorship and he's like, I don't like them. No, I just, I, don't, I always feel like they taste interesting. <laughs> There's something about the taste to me that's like, Okay, maybe they're, are they like malty? What, what makes a, um, what is a frosty? Like a Wendy's frosty. It's like a, um, uh, it's like a, a almost ice cream-ish, milkshake-ish. Like, I feel like maybe it's more of like a malt, right? Is that maybe what I don't like? Is it the, is that what tastes weird? Um, yeah. Sword, uh, I don't know if I'd compare it to Flurry. It usually doesn't have stuff in it. Flurries usually have like items in inside, uh, if I do recall. Let's see, but it's either vanilla or chocolate. Yeah, and you don't get like stuff mixed in. Mixed in. What is a frosty? The frosty is the signature frozen dairy dessert of Wendy's. The original light chocolate flavor, actually a combination of chocolate and vanilla, was initially the only flavor offered. That's all it says. But it doesn't actually say, like, what it is. What is a Frosty? Milky ice cream. I would agree with that. I would agree with that. What are Frosties made of? It's, yeah, it's, like, kind of a milkshake, but sort of. It doesn't, I don't know. It tastes different. Now I want a Frosty. Oh, no. Didn't want to say milky because I didn't want Emma to think liquidy. But, yeah, it's, like, milkier because, yeah, you can not, you can eat, have it either with a spoon or a straw. Um, did I customize this one? Um, that is incorrect. <laughs> Want to go to Wendy's with me, lady? And Runner invites himself to the pandas for Frosties. Um, <laughs> it is just about dinner time. I like I like Wendy's. Uh, I I have never been a super fan of the the Frosty, though. Personally, I would rather have. Um, uh, I would rather have a, do you try dipping fries in it? You see, I do that with ice cream. I prefer McDonald's cones. A McDonald's cone is nom nom. Uh, and I will put fries in that. That is, that will surely, I prefer that. There's just something about it. Well, and I, I don't know. Fries and Wendy's Frosties is where it's at. Maybe, maybe I need to give it another shot. Maybe I need to give it another shot. McDonald's is, is like a 2080 chance of the ice cream machine actually working. It's true, and I actually watched like a mini documentary about it, and it's it's actually pretty interesting. Um. Because there is, like, some conspiracy, sort of, about why that is. 
Um, they so the the doc that I watched kind of got into um, trying to figure out if I like this so far. I think this is looking okay. The doc that I watched was sort of talking about how the reason why they're always down might actually be a result of like a business deal, more or less, um, with the repair company for the ice cream machines. Because uh, the ice cream machines can not really be serviced by anybody but this one company. Um, and even the employees are sort of limited in what they're able to repair or, like, fix. And so um, part of the issue they were saying is the type of machine that they use goes into an automatic cleaning mode um, that is completely on its own whim. It's like an older machine and... A lot of times what, what happens is like Chick-fil-A, Wendy's, whatever, all, and pl any places that have like a, an ice cream machine. All of these machines have like auto clean modes, but usually it's done overnight uh, when the store is closed because it usually takes like hours to do. Um, but um, the McDonald's ones just go kind of like on their own. And so that's why, and the thing is, is that they're, when they start up, they're down for like hours. I think Mr. Pan and I watched this documentary too. Yeah. And so then they were talking about how, like, so there's that aspect of it, that it's like part of it is the machine. But then when they are broken, they're broken for like a super long time because they can because of contracting stuff, they're only allowed to get this one company to fix the machines. Um, and, oh, because this is what it is. This is what it is. The um, ice cream reader, or like, reader, the ice cream machine has like a screen on it. And on that screen, it'll say what the error is. And they were saying like, if you go to Chick-fil-A or Wendy's, whatever, those machines um, will tell you what the error is. Sometimes it's something very simple, like you need to do an auto clean or like a, you need to manually do like a, a cleaning mode or something small. McDonald's machines don't tell you what the um, uh, error is. It gives you just like an error code. And so they were saying that it seems to be maybe like a deal that was made a super long time ago. Um, where the only way to get these things fixed is if they hire a technician from this one company. Scheduling that stuff can sometimes be like days to weeks out, depending on where this McDonald's is. Um, and it also costs them money every time this happens. So a lot of times it's like put on the back burner or whatever. Anyway, the biggest reason for it to break is too much ice cream liquid in the machine or the machine doesn't reach proper temperature to be safe. Yeah, so... There could be a lot of things, but th that was actually pretty interesting, I thought, because it was like, oh, that actually does sort of make sense, um, you know, why they break. It's really not necessarily that they're broken, but they they're, they have, like, you know, error codes or, or what have you. Um, but uh, but that they need a certain company to, to fix them or whatever. Um, anyway, this is looking pretty good. I'm going to put a, a ladder, or not a ladder, a um, walkway here, an incline. I think I have one more incline that I can put. I feel like there's nowhere else that I would put one, question mark, yet. Um, so we'll give people access to this area up top. But I'll, I'll add some more stuff here to sort of fill it out. This is turning out pretty good. So it's interesting, uh, anyways. But, yeah, it is sort of a meme how much... Uh, <laughs> how often they're like broken or not working or whatever. Um, well, okay, let's go ahead and we're going to hop into the game for now. The, the actual game. The real one this time. Um, let me go 
and save. Uh, it's apparently not a very long game. It looks like how long to beat says it's 40 minutes. Um, so we'll probably play this game, and if there's time afterwards, we'll we'll continue with something else. We can either just chat, play another puzzle game, or something. Um, but I'd like to at least get into the game. Um, it's also the Super Bowl, so some of you all may be really busy here shortly. I didn't even know that today was the Super Bowl until Gizmo mentioned it earlier, in fact. So, that's my bad. Um, <laughs> what's funny is... <laughs> when I, I told you guys the story about the, the needing to take pictures somewhere earlier today and scheduling stuff. Part of me was like, I hope they don't think... Part of, I, was like, I hope they don't think that I have to, like... I'm like, I can't make it past this time because I have, like, a Super Bowl thing. I hope that's not what they think. Uh, <laughs> which I don't know if... Telling them I have to stream is any better, but I feel like it is. <laughs> Notice when you play with Joy-Con controller attached to straps shown. I'm actually playing it with a pro controller because why? We're we're a pro gamer. And this is going to be a pro pro stream. Only the pros play this game. I don't know if you guys know this. Let me change the category. Yeah, yeah it's a football thing. It's a, it's a sports ball thing. How's the music? Well, I mean, the song is great, first off. But I mean, like, is that loud? Too quiet? Good enough? check the settings. English, music, sound, paper effect. So yes. Rumble on, sure. I want to feel this game. Maybe a touch loud. Okay. Drop it just down just a little bit. Um, I want to feel every bit of this game. You can be the running back. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> perfect, perfect. Honestly, so the thing that cued me in on this game was one I'd heard people recommending this game um, but the art style in particular so it's a neat little narrative puzzle game shouldn't be too difficult I'm not expecting getting stuck at any point um, this is called Florence I know I'm blocking the, the title but we'll see where my camera lands after I uh, after we, we hop in so let's start Let's learn about Florence. Chapter one, adult life. Florence Yo, 25 years old. Oh, 7.15. I feel this. Oh, nice. <laughs> Pro, we just beat this mini game. Back in the day, there used to be a Shirley Temple movie marathon on the Super Bowl Sunday. That's what I used to watch. That's amazing. Curious about the Switch port. I saw a little iPad gameplay. Oh, very cool. Interesting. Oh, is this like... Uh, we're like... We're on, we're on the social meets. Why was this one? Oh wait! <laughs> Some of these they're they're pairs here. <laughs> I yep. Cool. <laughs> Okay, well, Gizmo! Welcome in! <laughs> we just started the game. 
Uh, how are you? <laughs> what were you playing? Question mark. Just kidding. It was Earthbound. I know it was there. Um, but <laughs> welcome in. How how did the rest of the stream go? Where did you get to? Did you finally get the item? Question mark. Uh, biscuits. Welcome in. How are you? Did you just hang up on your mom? I did. <laughs> I didn't know if I could just keep doing that. Um, we are currently, uh, cool, cool, Cronus. Welcome in. Uh, hope you're doing great. Uh, welcome into the stream. We're playing a game called Florence. It's a game about love. Um, that, uh, since it's Valentine's Day tomorrow, figured we'd do something Valentine's-y. We're gonna play, we're gonna play a game, uh, or a kind of a, a love-related game today and tomorrow. Uh, this is a 40 minute game we just started. Should be over pretty quick. Um, uh, did not get the item, but we did get the cure to shyness. Nice. That's all. The, the, the people aren't shy anymore. Game about love. Yay. I really want to play this and haven't. Uh, I'm going to dodge spoilers, but still, Lark, well, thank you very much. Well, if you come back in an hour, if you're free. It'll probably be done. It's apparently very, very short. <laughs> so, um, but, uh, yeah, I figured, I was trying to figure out what games to play for today and tomorrow. Uh, I was like, should we do something Valentine's-y? I don't know if we really have anything, but, uh, we've had this game for a while, and then the other game I got on sale, uh, but I'll tell you guys about that tomorrow. I'll be back. Perfect. All right. Well, let's continue. So we just started. Michelle Yo, where that's us on the right. Um, uh, oh wait, Florence. Did I say Michelle. Michelle Yo is a martial artist. Uh, <laughs> Florence Yo. Um, uh, is us on the right. All it showed was us waking up. We snoozed a bunch. Um, we brushed our teeth. We got on the train, bus, subway. Uh, and then our mom called us, and I kept hitting end call or reject. Um, and, uh, but then uh, in order to progress, I had to answer, so here we are. Um, okay. Talk to you later. <laughs> you don't have to find a boyfriend for me. We'll just talk to you later. Don't worry about it. I like this just like, womp, womp, womp. Womp, womp, womp. Sushi. No. I thought it was more than we could eat. Nom, 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 nom. So we're getting kind of a, a, a clue into her life. Sort of mundane -y. Likes to snooze. Doesn't seem to be very, like, I don't know. She doesn't seem super happy. Memories, chapter two. I can't remember what chapter one was called, but this is memories. So cleaning, packing things away, but there's too much stuff, it falls over. It knocks us down, but look, a pink box with memories. But good dental hygiene, it's true. I actually tried to do the the circles, you know. The dentist usually says to, to brush in circles. supposed to fill this in. Oh wait, what is this? Oh. Oh, you can use these multiple times too. I was like, is this a puzzle? Am I I'm thinking way too hard. <laughs> I'm thinking I wish you can make some of the shapes bigger. That's okay. Uh, I'm thinking way too hard about this. That's okay. Looks like a candy corn. Actually, let's do some of this.
The music in this game is really good. <laughs> good watch, Jet Color Print. You're about to. <laughs> you're, you're, you're about to. <laughs> oh, no. Hearts. Each of the little green squares. It's a little pattern. This is like me in a um, character creator. <laughs> that looks decent. <laughs> Ooh. These, you see, how is this one so much bigger than some of the other stamps? It's okay. It's okay. That doesn't look good. <laughs> nope. Wrong one. Let's just fill this out. Keep it simple. <laughs> that was a huge stamp for some reason. All right. Oh, I used all of the ones that I could, I could do there. So let's... Oh my no! Alright. Oh, this is like her. So, this is her memory like book. Looks like. So, she, want, she was trying to be creative. Looks like her mom wants her to focus on like maybe more homework y type stuff. Gosh. Uh, <laughs> uh, that is five. That's five, yep. Uh, that is also five. <laughs> yep, two. Look at us go. Easy, see I did all of that, just real fast. She seems, she seems frustrated. How old are we just then? It looks like a little photo that she has, she found. Oh. Seven o'clock? Whoop, whoop, wait, stop. Oh. Oh, that's so sad. So as time is moving forward, her friends are growing apart. That's sad. I don't know where I didn't I, told, I didn't know there would be math. I wouldn't have chosen this game. But yeah, so so her friends and her have have grown apart. Look, it's the thing we made. In her memory box. Looks like she puts it back in the box and puts it in the closet, and now she's thinking. Chapter three music. We are just trucking through this. Uh, sure we'll like that one. We're not going to retweet a salad. No battery! Well, we're terrible. <laughs> The art style is super cool. Oh. Oh, she 
there's this wonderful place. Okay, that's really like kind of floating on this. Be baby! Welcome in! Jetpack How's it going? We were playing this game about Lur. Called Florence, and I have not played it. Cellos do be dope. I wish I could play a cello. But how are you? Welcome in. So she was streaming. Not, or maybe daydreaming? Not sure. Adult life. That's what the first chapter was. Um, Luke! <laughs> I'm good. Actually woke up at a decent hour today and finally get to tune into a jet stream. This game looks so cute. It It is, uh, thus far. And it's apparently a very short game. It's only like 40 minutes. And we really just started not long ago. Even though it says we're on chapter 4. Each of those three first three chapters were about two minutes. <laughs> so we're we're going through this. Crash. Act two, everybody. <laughs> Frosties are on the way. Nice. Hold on. Oh, so she's she's on her bike. And she sees from the corner of her eye. Sees from the corner of her eye, the cellist. Oh. There he is. Cello! <laughs> she had some lemons. It looks like she's crashing her bike is what's happening. Oh, no. she be swept off her feet 10 out of 10 for creative yeah seriously I, I, I mean like definitely not like difficult puzzles at all thus far but um oops. but like just really neat You just wiped out. <laughs> adorable. Adorable. She blushing. He's got his lemon jacket on, and it's perfect because she brought lemons. But she chatting now. The music got really loud. It's a meat cute. It really is. Here, I'll lower the, the volume a little bit. The it it the music swelled. For sure, but thank you for telling me. Is that is, tell me if it's too loud still? Krish. Uh, his, his Are you okay? You just he just freaking bailed real bad. Uh, <laughs> luckily, she didn't get like in, in, injured. First dates. Coffee shop. Love it. Dope. She blushing. He looks happy. He's talking, she seems concerned, or unsure uns what to say, maybe. Oh, neat. Ooh, woo! <laughs> I 
I need a Square's oo-woo soundbite. He said a thing, she said a thing. Now he's saying a thing, uh-oh, it's our turn. <laughs> Look at us, we're speedrunning. We are Florence speedrunners now. We say a thing. Queen Victoria Market. Is that, or is this in Canada? <laughs> Where are we? Queen Victoria. That sounds like it would be a nor uh, like a real place. Um, now we're at like a market, maybe. Any percent run looking good for our PB guys. <laughs> Such a great interpretation of what it's like to figure out what the heck to say in a first date. Putting the pieces together, right? Got some, got some snackies. Eating a burrito. I think it's a burrito, maybe. Uh-oh, he's saying things again. But I guess if you think look if you look at these, it's like getting easier to talk. You know, like there's less pieces this time around. And we do seem happier. We look we look less worried than we did on that the first like puzzles. Yeah, there's now only three pieces. So I think it's like we're getting this is adorable. Yeah, it's like it's getting easier to to, to talk. Fair didn't get any easier this time, but I, <laughs> there's only three puzzles. I don't know what I'm, I'm asking. Getting easier to talk to. It's a yeah, it's adorable. We have like a knight. They look, they look awesome. I like get a little, uh, a little bar or something, a little nightclub. She's laughing. He's smiling. They're looking at each other. I'm glad. Oh, look, it is actually two pieces. Uh, but she said more. Yeah, the, I was about to say, it does look like the speech bubbles are working there, too. I'm glad this is a positive first date simulation. Right, yeah, exactly. This is, she's just, she's just shouting. <laughs> They're making it easy. The music is so good. Oh! Oh, hey, look at that. Even easier. Am I supposed to do something? Oh, just press A. <laughs> this is spicy. It is, right? First dates. Act three. Dang, already. Dreams. <clears throat> they talking. Oh, we go up this time. Oh, neat. So this is like his dreams. Loved his ripped jeans. The the art style of this is super cool. It's like the characters are very expressive. <clears throat> I miss the yellow jacket. It was very iconic. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was a very iconic look. Um, Expected that. Oh, he wants. So they're in a record store, and he's like, he's probably saying that he wants to make his own record or, or something like that. Something to that effect. What am I missing? Oh, if I just stop, it'll, it'll say. 
Uh, now they're at the genius bar. Her phone is broken, and they're getting it. It, it got damaged, and now uh, it, it needs to be repaired. No, I was gonna say I like the like the art style is really cool. It's very expressive. It actually reminds me a lot of um, Scott Pilgrim, almost in a way, like ca cartoonish, but has its own unique style. It's not like anime or anything like that. It's more just its own, you know, thing. Like I kind of think. In the the daydream, he kind of looks. He reminds me of um, uh, it was the second Evil X, uh, the one played by Chris Evans, sort of. Like he it, it just has a different look. Oh, or I can see the vegan guy too. It kind of looks like Todd. Yeah, I can see that too. In fact, um, yeah, I'm seeing the skateboard guy, the actor guy. Yeah, I can't. What's his name? Was it something with a T? Because I thought his, like, skateboard company was, like, sort of like a T-looking logo. Anyway, I don't know. Anyway, regardless, <clears throat> the, the art style of this game is super, super cool. <laughs> Doing a freeze frame. So we're, we're on our, a bus, looking at the city. Brushing our teeth. No mini game this time. Open up the memory box. That's the butterfly we made. So we dream in. We look into the mirror. What are we seeing? Um, <clears throat> in our dream, we are an artist, and we're happy. Instead of like a, a finance financier. Oh, wait! Well, just me had to reload. Oh, that's what you meant. Sorry, that's funny. <clears throat> so, in our in our dream, or in our... Thinking about our dreams, we were an artist, and we were happy. We were not happy in the mirror. But now we actually dream it. Inspiration, Chapter 7. We're talking on the phone. Is that his apartment? Probably. A little bit of a mess. He's got a Game Boy, though. Uh, and some books. Some tea. It's a little bit of a mess. <laughs> Just a little bit of a mess. It's okay. We unpacking now? up his room. Ah, I wish cleaning up was... Click. <laughs> click. Copyright. I know, right? <laughs> I wonder if they got, you know, made... I feel like this game came out a while ago. It's actually available on mobile. Um, I'm curious if... Um... <laughs> I mean, I'm sure unpacking people probably heard about this. Welcome to my apartment, he says. The Academy of Music. Student application. Not sure what he's saying here. He seems nervous. What about what? What about the academy? Oh, because he wants to apply, and, and now she's like, no, you should. Go for it. Maybe he's afraid of reaching his dreams. I'm going to move me up here a little bit. Um... <laughs> Spark of Midnight! By the way, welcome in. How are you? I'm in the process of cleaning and taking a break for dinner. Amazing. Oh, this is adorable. He's nervous. Oh, <laughs> we had to push him. Do it. Do it. Apply. She and she's gonna she's gonna follow her dream. She's gonna draw a little bit. What do we got here? Oh, it is him. And also, I wish drawing was this easy. He's now $50,000 in debt. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. This is how people think artistry is like. <laughs> 
Exploration, Chapter 8. Oh, it's loud. Yeah, 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 we're supposed to shake it. This is her. No, no, this is his family. The Hem. Hem. Rot. I don't know. <laughs> I tried. I was gonna try, and then it's just, it's not happening. I <laughs> it's about that time. No! Emmers! Well, we will see you later. Thanks for being here and hanging out with us. We'll see you once again. Krish's first sushi. Art gallery, nice. Look how excited she is. Only 50k in debt? <laughs> Skateboard lessons? Dope. He was a skater boy. She said, see you later, boy. Uh, Krish's music friends. Nice. Forest hike. Look at them. This is, a, this is such an adorable game. Why shake the poorly centered pictures? I know. Uh... <laughs> I actually don't think you're supposed to shake them. That's like a misnomer, if I recall. But it's something that people do. But but have a good night, Emmers. We'll see you later. Hope work tomorrow is good. Uh, yeah, you're not supposed to. Yeah, that's what I heard. I don't remember why. Is it like the chemical that's inside? Can get like mixed up, like the color chemical or something? Polaroid had to make a PSA when that song came out. Amazing. So she has she has this map up in her her office. So she has something to like kind of inspire her, and make her happy as she. I like how that is in color versus everything else is sort of in a drab gray. Act four. We're flying through this groceries. Lots of cereal. He's talking. She's listening. He says the thing. Oh, I like that it's doing it for him. She's... Uh, uh, he says the thing. Are they having conflict about the cereal? As a university student, I can't afford food. Oh. Uh-oh. He's upset. Oh, interesting. The shapes have changed. But I don't like Frosted Flakes. But Frosted Flakes are the superior cereal option. No. I like Frosted Mini Wheats. <laughs> frosted Mini Wheats are a terrible cereal. <laughs> How can you say that? There's, there's, oh gosh, we're racing. There's, I can barely get in a word in edgewise. <laughs> To be fair, it's kind of like, who wins in that situation? Now it's a speed run. You stand up for your cereal. No, Frosted Mini Wheats. Um, or Hot Dogs a Sandwich. That's what the conversation was about. So now we ride the train home upset. Oh, look. We're not in color. But maybe we're feeling a little... Hey. <laughs> hey. We can both have cereal. We can both have our own cereals. That's actually really adorable. I love actually like the line art for this is actually really cool. Uh the the art style is neat. I would love to play more games that have have this this type of uh art style. But look, you see they're they're both making cereal, and that's exactly how I make cereal. I don't know what you're talking about. It's okay. They don't, it's okay that you don't like good cereal. I just thought you were intelligent. 
Uh, <laughs> we can just buy separate cereals, honey. I know. It's <laughs> I clearly <laughs> made it. I I mean, I don't know. Maybe people would have this exact ar- argument about cereal and it'd be a serious thing, but. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to think that, that that's exactly what it was about. Let's make our own cereals. I was waiting for that to go bad. Yeah, but look, it's it's good. It, we're look, they, and they've. If you look at the color choices here, what do we have? We have both Florence and Krish. Florence is wearing her teal. Uh, right. I, that's a teal. It's a bluishy kind of green. Bluishy green. I think that's kind of teal. He's wearing pink, but look at everything else. Look at the food. Look at the cutting board. Mixes of pink and green. So therefore, it is showing like a collaboration of sorts. Teal works. It's pink curry. I'm not sure how good that is. (laughs) Pink is a weird color for most foods unless it's like sugar. (laughs) But it could be cereal. Maybe he's like, I don't want curry. I want my Frosted Flakes or whatever it was. The cereal challenge. Go to your partner and ask what their favorite cereal is, and you have to tell them why they're wrong. <laughs> exactly. It's exactly what we need. Uh, <laughs> the pink stuff is poison. I'll teach you what happens when you diss Tony the Tiger. Ha, 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 ha. He laughs nervously. Six months later. Moving in. Best Biscuits, thank you for gifting a sub to B-Baby. B-Baby, welcome in. Uh, thank you so much. All right, so we're moving in. Uh, oh, got to press A. Now we're actually unpacking. Who <laughs> the baby you get to, By the way, this is so cool. <laughs> Want it? Want it? Put that there. Put our put our slippers there. Uh, oh, we could just choose which one we want. Okay. Ooh, spices. Oh, we don't need another toaster. You can put that in storage. But uh. Oh, do we even have to like? Oh, interesting. This is gonna be like. We might have to take some of her stuff also. Oh, well, we gotta have this. Okay, this is... What is this? What are these? We can't store these anywhere else? There's not not a cupboard for this or something? Hmm. Oh, that is a waffle maker. You are correct. Yes. What is this? Oh, okay, look. Two of these, we don't need two of them. That goes in storage. A pestle. Ketchup. Mm. <laughs> I know, right. We could be using these these cupboards, but no, not today. Waffle maker for the spices. That's prob- actually more true. You're going to use the spices... Wait, where did the spices... Oh, spices are up here. That's, but it's actually... Look how ginormous this is. But we can put... Um, can we do this? Can we put both of these? No. Can I put this back? Can't. What is this? Is it, this kind of looks like peanut butter. <sighs> look, we have th- this Tupperware here. So we probably don't need this. We really need the coffee, though, right? <laughs> we, like, the coffee has to stay. Uh, and I mean, we have this. This looks like seasonings, right? So we don't need the ketchup. Oh, wait, can you put this on the microwave? We can't. You see, this is, yeah, they're, they're making some rules for themselves that they don't need to be making. Uh, <laughs> this is... I guess it's also the difference between, like, coffee versus tea, because this would be, like, a teapot, right? Though, it seemed like in his house he liked tea, so it's kind of confusing. So maybe... I feel like... I wonder if there's a way you can just, like, organize all of this. 
this so that it all fits, but we're we're we've definitely not done that. <laughs> Just say no to the Tupperware and eat the food. I mean, that's probably fair. Uh, we can put them in storage. It's okay. We can get them out of storage if we need. Coffee is a good thing. Oops. This is. I don't know why this part is the most difficult part, <laughs> but it, but it has been. Oh no. <laughs> What's funny is this is, I think, his only thing. <laughs> Done. That is the only thing he brought to the bathroom, which is, I think is great. No such thing as... <laughs> Next scene is just them stuffing stuffing their face. Okay, I think this is... I need to see all of these items. And what can we remove? We have books. This thing can go into store. We don't, we don't need to have that there. Let's do storage. I really want, okay, hold on. So only tall thing can go here. What is this? Can I move this stuff? Yeah, let's. But you know what we do need? A record player, for sure. Oh, it's his, like, cricket bat or whatever. Is this cricket? Is this cricket? We're going to put that in storage. Um, do we, we would probably need the records, like, nearby. I think that's fair. She has plenty of, look, how many books she has here. Uh, <laughs> and I say, look, we'll keep things simple. I think what we do, I think this is a fair, hmm, I think this is a fair trade. We put these books away, we put our photo here, and then we'll get rid of these two things. Because our things took up a lot of space. But I think, but so like she gets to keep the majority of stuff on on her on her on her bookshelf. But it's at least, you know, you did buy right, 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 right. It's true. There's memory. She also she enjoys music too. So I think that works. But uh, look how happy they are. I I would like to think that's because we did a good job organizing the kitchen. I think that I, th I think that's what this is. Auditions today for the Academy of Music. Look at him go. She's happy. She's cheering him on. But he got her a gift? She's surprised. An art set! Adorable. Beautiful. Look how happy. He's chasing her... Er, he's chasing his dreams. She's... Now he's like, you should chase your dreams also. <laughs> It'd be funny. He's chasing her dreams. He's like, fine. Fine. If you won't pursue your dreams, I will. <laughs> I will become the best artist. Uh, <laughs> that's aggressive. <laughs> they, were, they were a beginner set, for sure. As a book hoarder, I'd like to imagine the books in storage or hiding under the bed. Yeah, I feel like <clears throat> there, there's an option where they find another bookshelf, right? <laughs> like they get another bookshelf or something. Um... Your nose smells nosy, they say. I just saw that. Uh, these are low quality garbage, but I appreciate the thought. Thank you. Hap I <laughs> Could next time, please get me a gift card. Happy Together, Chapter 11. They're waking up to Gazia. 7.15. Are they going to snooze? Oh, no. They just woke up. That looks like... Is this Marmite? Or, um... Vegemite? I don't think they're... Oh, wait, maybe they are Australian. Are they Australian? Queen Victoria Market? I wonder if that's a real thing. Yeah, it is! They're in... They're, they're in Melbourne. Mel... Mel... Melbourne. Someone tell... Someone tell that square guy. This is... This takes place in Australia. So I've been thinking this is all right, wrong. So this is actually Vegemite. I, I should have been 
I'm just saying, uh, saying everything in an Australian accent. Someone tell that square guy. Okay, let's eat. Let's eat our Vegemite. Vegemite toast, some stra strawberries. Drink coffee. Nom nom. Breakfast of champions. Ah, uh, might. Uh. Oh, oh gosh. What do I? What do I send back? He said happy. Sad. Uh, I feel like we echo that. <laughs> in our un in our unknowingness, we we just send <laughs> we send the exact same thing. So there's no confusion as to what the other is saying. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Hopefully he's not looking for us to offer him more. Oh look, our happiness even work is getting done better. The fight was Je Vegemite or Frosted Flakes. Maybe that's what it was. Oh. Is this how you cook? <laughs> Wait. Oh, we just have to mix it up, I guess, a little bit, right? Is that what so I've been cooking all wrong all this time. I saw the cricket bat and assumed Australia TVH. Oh, I didn't even put that together. Oh, that's a good call. Oh, look. Oh, it's the same sketch, but it's better. It's also in color now, especially since she has paints. Do it this way. Cool art style. Wait, there you go. Two hardy modes? Things are getting serious. <laughs> if the moving in wasn't... A bigger indication. <laughs> it's the two hearts. Two. Well, it's heart, wink face, heart. Routine. Uh oh. So maybe the honeymoon period is it becoming over? Or is it? Or is routine a good thing? Maybe it's a good thing. Though this card, uh, title card, doesn't maybe speak to that. One year later. Routine, chapter twelve. They wake up, 7 p.m., or 7 a.m., gosh. <laughs> they slept in all day, brush teeth. Mm. So this is echoing kind of the beginning of the game and her feelings there. He's at the Academy of Music. He doesn't look super happy. She's back at work doing the things. If anything really bad happens, I will cry. This is too cute, indeed. He's playing music. We're... Um, pretty sure couples are supposed to brush each other, Steve. Yeah, I think that's right. <laughs> um, so how are you guys doing? <laughs> Mom! What? <laughs> Yeah, I know. I'm busy. Nothing, just work. I'm fine. <laughs> Wait, that squirt guy is here! Wait! <laughs> We're in Mel Melbourne. Um, okay, I'm off to do things for Valentine's Day. I'm gonna go give my friend some flowers. Have a nice... Time zone, everybody. Be baby. Thanks for popping in. Thanks for the follow earlier, and for for being here. Um, uh, thank you so much. <laughs> but that square guy, we're playing a game that I actually, for some reason, I thought it was gonna be Canada. Um, but it is not Canada. It is <laughs> nailing the pronunciation as always. I try. Um, but uh. It takes place in it takes place in uh, Melbourne, um, because uh, I, I noticed it did say they went to Queen Victoria Market, and I just Google searched it. I just Googled that, and I found it, and it's where it's around your neck of the woods. Um, after one year, and they moved in with each other. That's pretty quick, or is that just me? <laughs> it did seem maybe a little fast. Uh, my fiance moved in, in with me when we'd known each other for less than six months. But hey, I guess when you know, you know. Well, we got pizza now. Um, so we're, we're hitting the routine part of the relationship. Oh, yeah. Queen Victoria Market is pretty famous. It's about an hour's drive for me, though. Amazing. 
Um, but look, they're they're kind of getting into the routine of things. Um, <laughs> it's right in this city. It's like I've been like maybe twice. Is it like a just a like a farmer's market sort of? Wait, tomorrow is your six year anniversary, so something worked out. That's amazing. Oh yeah, you just said when you know, you know, I just see that. Uh-oh, chapter 13, erosion. Not usually a good word, especially when in in uh, response to relationship. So uh, we can just rewind time, right? <laughs> So I went to to that, to this. Standing pretty, you know. The one unrealistic thing about all of this, well, actually, well, no, it actually is changing. I'll say his beard isn't changing, but it is. It actually looks a bit more full now. But she's on her phone, he's eating donuts, <laughs> something, cookies? Maybe it's a cookie. So here we are. I, oh, hold on. It's just a market? Fruit, vegetables, meat. Oh, okay, that kind of stuff. Okay, so it's like food stuff. I feel like I remember stalls with clothes, etc. but I don't know, a long time ago. I personally prefer country markets. Looks like a cookie. I think it is. Um, oh, but they had Vegemite on toast. Um, I thought, oh, you know, it also could be a burger. I could see that too. I don't know what comes in like, I guess a wrapper makes more sense where maybe it's a burger, unless it's... Just a napkin to hold. Maybe he doesn't like his hands cookied. Oh no. The music is also getting not as uh not as uh excited. I'm fine. Everything is fine. Nothing's wrong. <laughs> oh, no, no. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, Eric Falk. Yeah. I'm sure it'll all work out. Maybe there's just a smile underneath this. That's why I'm saving this for last. No. His beard is looking pretty good, though. I will say that's. I mean, his his beard has certainly improved. The the relationship maybe not. <laughs> Cries in cello. Okay, let's see. So our paints that he got us. Ah, uh, they're getting buried. Our dreams. Oh, uh, did we even use it once? Did we even use it once? Fight! Oh gosh. Hmm. Lots of frustrated faces, mad faces. Looks like these are also taking place in multiple days and times because their their clothes are changing and stuff. They're wearing grays, which, though I will say gray is my favorite color, probably not a good sign metaphorically or symbolically, but, uh, yeah. They do say love is a sacrifice. As, as we talked about yesterday during Tank's interview on the Jet Wave, for those that weren't here, we interviewed um, our buddy Tank Media Games uh, yesterday. It was very fun. Um, but uh, we were talking about, you know, it relationships, love, friendships, all requires work. It's not always a walk in the park. It requires work. Um, oh, I know things are bad when R.C. wears great. Is that true? <laughs> is, that, is that true? Uh, look, we're also partially outside of the frame. Is that also symbolic? We said a thing. He's saying a thing, and he said it real fast. No, okay, I was about to say. I was like, is that real? Um, <laughs> maybe it's a cultural Australian thing. Australians wear gray when they're upset. Oh, no. He turned to us with arms folded. We don't look happy either. 
Do you, what do you think is the symbolism of the blocks being going from circles to like jagged edges? It's supposed to be that we're being harsh with our words, that we're being. And look, we're like the bubbles are no longer uh, in an order; they're kind of like talking over each other. And it's red. Yeah, it can't be good. Probably not a good thing. Look, these are sharp. They're daggered. They are pointed. Maybe that's, or it could just be what that their pointed words, which is, a, you know. Look how many bubbles are overlapping. Oh. But who's going to win? And is it really winning? Are any of us either winning when we're like this? No, no. I am a gamer. <laughs> I'm just gonna finish stress eating my carrots over here. Oh no. So she's sad. She is, uh, looks like she's feeling a little dejected. As is he. As is he. Oh boy. If they make you pack his stuff up again, oh no! Don't say that. Oh, that is—he's—he's—he's he's, he's, he's actually a short king. Uh, <laughs> all, all this time we didn't realize this, but he's actually uh, a short king. Oh no! Wait, I think I just realized something. Maybe they don't fit anymore. The 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 pieces don't fit. Drifting. Oh no. <laughs> For the record, when Darcy and I seem like this is only because it's so hot. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it. For sure, especially in Australia, it probably is like that all the time. Um, yeah, the symbolism there. Uh, so drifting. Ooh, even the art style has sort of changed, and it's it's muted. Oh, no. oh wait. Puzzle pieces are... Wait a minute. There we go. Oh, gosh. That is what her face looks like. I've made some mistakes. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, everyone. I've <laughs> I did not give myself enough room. Uh this is the back of her head. This goes here. This is here. Cool. <laughs> Who wants some wine? Oh, no. So it's that kind of game. We'll see. We don't know. We don't know the story. No! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, gosh. I remember these are mine. I think these are my boots too. We put them in storage, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Oh, are these mine too? No. What? Oh, we're done. Yeah, there's a check mark. How dare. Oh, no. We love to fight and have a good makeup. This, this game and I are fighting now. I know. Well. This was ours. This was ours. 
We didn't need two toasters. I did not put that there. That's lots of money. Am I? Oh, we're done. <laughs> Just gonna keep on taking things. This is not how we set this up. Our painting is on the wall, just noticed. They fought so hard they didn't want to use the same toaster. I know. You only get a good ending if you move incorrectly. No! It's, I did it. It was my fault. But she is sad on the couch. It is raining. Oh, no! Put all this stuff in one box. Man, it's a minimalist. When, they, when moving into the bathroom, we only had one toothbrush that we had to place. <laughs> I am going on an ice cream run. This is escalated. Fragments, chapter four. Uh, <laughs> goodbye, murder board. <laughs> oh, boy. Seemingly cut out of her life. So she was at home. And then she's outside. At that sushi place. It, oh, it's a, I didn't notice it was a revolving sushi place, but it is. On the train. In bed. So is she going to call her mom? Now I feel bad for rejecting all of those calls. Let go, chapter 18. No, for real, this is actually gonna make me cry. Depending on what happens, I could be there as well, but we'll, <laughs> we'll see. It wouldn't be the first time I've cried on stream, so <laughs> just give it time. Just give it time. This is way more dramatic than my relationship. <laughs> maybe. If they both if they're both so sad about breaking up, maybe they shouldn't break up. <laughs> I know, right? It's a video game, it can't be a bad ending, right? <laughs> right? Maybe if if he just fought her seven evil exes, maybe that would help. Wake up. I've got the feels and it's making me mad. Oh no. What it takes to actually wake me up. You've actually been in a coma since the bike accident. It's fair. Oh, wait. Our paints. We're looking at the paints. He did give this to us. But maybe we should follow our dreams. They bring the color back. Paul, you're easy to wake up. An IV of cut perfect. Yeah, that's all I need. That's the, I would not complain. So she's painting, and look, the plant is growing. Time is passing. It's changing seasons. I mean, she has only been working on the one painting. Or wait. Oh, actually, no. <clears throat> on the wall, there's actually paintings behind her as well. I assume that's hers, and that she's not just buying artwork. Wayward Strand is what that one says in the middle. I don't know what that is. And she got a haircut, so she's changing. Uh, <laughs> she's growing. Cooking with mom. 
Second prize! She won a, a prize and a thing. A sketch club. Loaf. Oh, she got a cat. Florencio Shop. Sold. She's selling her paintings? That's another game made in Melbourne? I wonder if they're made by the same uh, people. Melbourne. The numbers, the retweets, the favorites, the sales figures? It's going off the charts. Uh, find the, the matching numbers. Remember when I did not know what to do with the first puzzle that was like this? Whoops. And I was just like, maybe you have to go in order. <laughs> it wasn't until I thought that that I was like, oh wait, there's doubles. I get it. Okay, yep, the crying is real. <laughs> oh no. I'm a check. Moving on. Oh, we're we're drop we're we're quitting our job. I don't know why we took the calculator. Is that ours? But <laughs> we start taking like reams of paper. Oh no. <laughs> Great day with Krish. She's smiling. And she's keeping the memory. She didn't have to. Different devs and publishers, as far as I can tell. Uh, but probably they were both working out of the arcade, which is a game dev share space here in Mel- Oh, maybe that's what it was. Wait, you just worked there for a bit too? No way! That's awesome. Get to take a little picture with her mom! That's dope. Our stuff in an art gallery? True story, amazing. Love it. Got a little art, art gallery. <laughs> this is gonna be so mean. I was <laughs> I was gonna say the the artwork is a little rudimentary <laughs> in some to some degree. Like that's on the the walls. I was gonna say this person's like, wow, this is really great for a 12, 12 year old. Uh, <laughs> not true. That's so mean. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's like all the same thing. They're just different colored flowers. That's all. <laughs> it's all, it's all, the only thing I meant by that. It's contemporary jet. We can't all make vaporwave. I suppose that's fair. Um, <laughs> uh, Best Biscuits and I are going to create our own ND. Thank you. I know. I would actually, I'm kind of hoping for that too. Why is that man in the top hat? Ah, he's easy to buy some art. See? Uh, gotta, yeah. <clears throat> gotta. I lost it. Uh, nice top hat, hipster. Very Melbourne. That's right. I think I have heard that. I think I, I remember asking Talonis, I think, which which Australian city is most likely to be the most hipstery? And I think he said, he said, uh, Melbourne. Uh, Paul, a duct taped bandana sold for like, or banana bandana sold for like one billion order. Yeah, well, that's totally like money laundering. <laughs> But okay, she's meeting with these people, patrons who are like coming in. Melbourne is definitely the most hipster. Interesting. Why is that? But look how happy she is. She's painting. I mean, okay, again, a little derivative. <laughs> we need this. We want to see you expand. Is this the end? It is! I really wanted more. I, <laughs> to be fair. Um, Brisbane is too surfy. Perth is too rich. Sydney is boring. Hilarious. I know nothing about Sydney, but that just makes me laugh. And Adelaide doesn't <laughs> exist. Dang, what did Adelaide do? 
Uh, <laughs> Sprint mutually happy endings. She learned that she didn't need no man. That's true. She's a strong, independent woman. You don't need no man. He should have come to the art gallery. And that's, I, I will say, I think, I wish there was a little bit more resolution there. But, to be fair, to be fair, uh, as they say, uh, that you don't always get closure with people. You don't always get that, that you know, see them again sort of thing. But, what was that other game that we played that kind of had a similar thing? Where it's kind of like, oh, I guess it was uh, like Hitchhiker, sort of. There is like, I mean, <laughs> Hitchhiker was crazy, but this one, you also get that she she sees the um, the the picture of them and is thankful and is happy. She is able to look on that with even though there were negative points and certainly sadness and frustrations, regrets maybe uh, that she can still be like without this I wouldn't have like started to chase my dream of of painting and now she was able to move on for her job she's a lot happier etc so you know that's it's a good th it's a good thing uh yeah hitchhiker was yeah I guess it counts for something that he had given her the paints yeah um very true the sooner you realize not all relationships end with closure the better it's true um that goes for friendships even too uh, Jenny LeClue. Yeah, that ending was also unsatisfying. Uh, oh, there you go. It said, our fellow residents in the arcade. That's Squirt Guy. That's basically you. You were thanked in this game. Wait, where was that? What if, like, you're on this list? Yeah, our fellow residents at the arcade. That's you! That's where God. We have you to thank for this. But we also have you to blame for this. Uh, <laughs> why didn't he come to the museum? Or the, the, art, the, the art show? Art gallery. Look, and it's the thing we made. We made that. And I think, honestly, it's her most unique piece that she, she made. Um, are this all, is it all concept art? Neat. That's super cool. I actually love when games include, like, concept art. Unused art. Early concept character art. First concept for the dates. Oh, that's interesting. I'm so glad that they didn't go with a slot machine type thing. I hate those. <laughs> I can't, I never, I never do it right. First version, storyboard, promotional art, early art style test. Interesting. I definitely like the direction they went. They, they're they much more like, oh, that is cool. That, why? Oh, they should have done that. That's such a neat. Oh, that's cool. That's a neat way to, to show that. They're much more personable, I think, in the art style that they, they went with. Deleted scene, early sketches for let go, unused art. I wonder if there's, a, let's see if there's a, uh, what if they were like, maybe he was supposed to be there at some point. Draft art, early sketches. Oh, wait. No, that's it. Um,. I didn't see you guys play it, but I played it myself and need more. Uh, oh, yeah. So so we we actually we played Jenny Lickley a while back. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I honestly, I honestly think it's great. And the fact that they're, they're making a sequel is fantastic. Um, uh, I will say, luckily, when we played it, we didn't know that there was a... a the sequel was up in the air. Uh, but the Pandas and Best Biscuits all played it after that announcement was there. So I'm at least happy for them that that is uh, that it's there. Um, that at least you guys know that there is a sequel being made. Um, ironically, I didn't get to actually work in the arcade that much. Our team moved in there shortly before the pandemic. 
Oh no! <laughs> oh no! So only got to go in a few times. Oh, sad. I mean, this was a story game overall, like Journey. Yeah, ten ten so wholesome. I really enjoyed this. Nice to see the art, though. Yeah. Um, I really enjoy these types of games. Like, I am perfectly happy if it is a um uh action game or if it is a point and click game or if it is just something simple like this i like experience like this experiences like this as well um take <laughs> take away don't get mad about cereal if you're starting to have fights about cereal it's okay just you know there's just just buy a box for yourself have it later can't wait for the sequel uh, same it'll be great um so splatoon now honestly i mean we have time are you interested in playing splatoon Square? That Squarespace? When are you getting a Squarespace sponsorship? Because that would be um, enjoyable. My couch is calling me, so I will be lurking. <laughs> yes, I am, but I am working. That's what I figured. I was like, it's probably work time for you, right? Thanks so much for the, uh, the love game, Jet. Not a problem. Tomorrow we're playing another one. So if you guys want um, some more of this, I mean, it'll be very different. But if you want some more of this, we will be playing another Valentine's Day uh, game tomorrow. Um, some relationships are not worth having, even if it feels good at the time. Honestly, that's also true. Um, <laughs> God willing, someday. Uh <laughs> Uh, when is the stream starting tomorrow? Um, probably around 12 p.m. my time, uh, which is 1 p.m. Pacific. We usually chat for an hour, and then we hop into a game. Um, just depending. If people are there early on, then we'll, we chat. If, if not, we kind of hop into the game. Tomorrow, should I tell you what game we're playing? Should I tell you what game we're playing? Or should it be a secret? I'll tell you guys now. We're playing a game called To the Moon. Apparently, it's been out for a while. Um, but uh, it's it's recently added to the Switch. Well, a few months ago. So we're going to be playing To the Moon. Which, as far as I know, is not about Dogecoin. But there's really no way to know. Uh, oh, yeah, that came out in, like, 2012? Yeah, I think it did. It just came onto the Switch... Like, at the end of last year, I think. Maybe middle last year. Uh, this was designed by the Monument Valley guy. Wait, this the game we played? Florence? <laughs> it's about Dogecoin? Gross. No. Uh, <laughs> if you guys don't remember, everyone was saying about Dogecoin to the moon last year. And so that's what I was thinking about. I actually thought it was ironic that they released the game last year on the Switch. And I was like... I wonder if they did that because the phrase to the moon was being said so much that it's kind of a great, like, marketing strategy <laughs> to then re-release their game. Um, because people are probably searching for to the moon, at, like, trying to figure out what they, what that's even referencing anyway. But no, okay, this game came out in, like, 2012, so it's a bit older. A bit older than a Dogecoin. Uh, yeah, oh, that's awesome. I love Monument Valley. Um, so it's cool that uh, this was also made by the Monument Valley also has a, an awesome uh, art style. I did not finish the second one. I think I started it and I was like, cool, I'll play more of this. And then just never did. Maybe I'll make that then. I, I played that but forgot most of it by now. OK, very cool. Very cool. Um, we do have a, a plenty of time, though. That is a very short game, but I did enjoy it. Um, so... What shall we do? What shall we do? Um, have Animal Crossing. We have Pokemon. Grindstone is a great kind of time filler. Very not romantic. Very not uh, Val Valentine's Day. -y. Um, what could <laughs> we do? How long is this game? Hold on. Is this also very short? I feel like it is. I mean, if we can knock out 
as many of these games. Hold on. <laughs> the Stillness of Wind. Three hours. No, we're not going to stay stay here for that. We won't start it if we can't finish it. So let's not play that. <clears throat> oh, I was going to say, this game was also very... Wow, excuse me. This game was also very when the past was around. I think when the past was around was maybe... Was it sadder? I don't know if it was sadder. I like... I, I, I mean, both of the games are very similar. A story about love and love lost, I suppose. Though, maybe it was a bit sadder. Because when the past was around has to deal with, like, the death of, of somebody you love. Um, so it's not like... She just moves on, I suppose. <laughs> but um, anyway, <laughs> we don't have to chat about that. Um, what do we do, friends? Um, let us play. Let's hop into... I was going to get it to play, and then you said death. Well, never mind. Yeah, that's fair. It's and that's I will say that's not a spoiler by the way that's uh, very very early on that 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 gets addressed or at least talked about but yeah it's a little bit heavy it's a little bit heavier I will say I think this game Florence is a lot more fun than that game there there were some puzzles <laughs> in um, when the pass was around that was honestly very obtuse um, that was very like. It was it was like a point and click more than it was what we just experienced, um, which is kind of it's. I feel like Florence had its own like narrative puzzles that all changed almost every uh, like they only repeated every couple times. Most of when the past was around is like an inventory find the objects game where you find multiple objects. You often have to combine them, and then that opens up another thing, and then you kind of progress through that the logic behind some of these items is is very um abstract so like for example i think there's a a level where you need to find a key or something you need to find like two objects to make a key well it, it just so happens that if you open up a window there's a bird that has a letter in its mouth. If you open up the letter, one of those pieces are inside. Um, where it's it's not purely like a, oh, yes, I'm trying to find this this common household item. Let me look where it would normally be. It's not there. It's like it's kind of obscured um, in its logic, I think. Um, but uh, part of me wants to start in Morangi Generation because Gizmo has mentioned it, but... I know we won't finish it today, so maybe. What do we do, friends? Could just do something simple. Is there anything? I don't have anything that else that's like very Valentine's Day y. I need to finish Button City at some point. I want to play Celeste. Um, honestly, you know what? There is no game is kind of a good Valentine's Day game. What I'm hearing is Splatoon. The thing is, is that I don't know if you'd want to watch me play that. Because <laughs> it's all going to be just blah blobbing. Unless you were there. Scott Pilgrim is Valent. I uh, Oh, actually, I agree with that. That is true. I, I have it on the PS3, and I beat it quite a few times on the PS3. Um, but uh, I was I got this on Switch mostly to play online, and the, <laughs> the servers were not wonderful. But I do want to play that more. Um, I, I don't know if Gizmo and I might try to play that at some point. It might be kind of fun. Um, I'm so – oh, same, actually. I, I got a collector's edition as well. Um, I haven't gotten mine yet. 
Uh, oh, we need to play Tropical Freeze. We're going to play that at some point. Um, also, don't get one to switch. <laughs> don't get one to switch. That's just... Uh, what? Brian Lee O'Malley himself gave me a key for the PS4 copy? What? How did that happen? Also, reading that the creative director, Monument Valley Guy, was very... Oh, oh gosh. Verbally abusive to his employees during the development? Oh, no. That's sad. Uh, oh, nice. I got the collector's edition on the Switch, so getting the PS4 key was perfect. I got the collector's edition for the PS4, so I bought a key for the Switch. He started streaming. Oh, that's... I think I was probably in some of those streams. Um, we probably We could have run into each other... Even earlier, that square guy. Maybe I even maybe I even replied to you at some point and was like, this guy is too cool. He's too cool for me. Ape Out was a crazy game. Ape Out was actually the first game that I ever streamed. It also happened to be, this was totally unplanned. Uh, I, my first day streaming is the anniversary of Harambe's death. So, <laughs> I played Ape Out on that day. I realized that, I think, like, midway through the stream. Uh, I was watching, and at the end of the stream, of each stream, he just picked people out random to get keys. Oh, I never saw that part, I don't think. And somehow he picked me out. That's, uh, I was one of the last ones. It's amazing. We were meant to be. That is incredible. Um, incredible. Uh, a Short Hike is a fantastic game. I've kept it on my my uh switch just in case we could play a little bit of part-time ufo we haven't played that in forever um oh, i need to do dicey dungeons too by the way people play later alligator wonderful game there's a des react to the speed run very good oh man of florence <laughs> of which game oh monument valley probably right uh I can see that being sped run. I don't think people... There are probably not many speed run records for Florence. Oh, for Ape Out. Oh, that's amazing. Ape Out's a lot of fun. I really liked their mechanics where it, like, times up with the music. Like, when you're... Anytime you push a button, it's like a symbol crash or something like that. I think that's really cool. Um, Let's do... Uh, what should we start? Should we, oh gosh, start a thing or play a puzzle, play a puzzle. Let's flip a coin. We're going to flip a coin. Uh, Google flip coin. Okay. Heads will be, um, heads will be. Start a new thing. If it's start a new thing, we'll either start up Umarangi Generation, because I'm curious. Apparently, it's a very chill game. It's just a photography-type game. Um, or, let's see. What else would we start up? Probably. That would probably be the game that we start up. Or. Tails will be do a puzzle game, and then we'll go from there. I'm, I know you guys can't see it, but trust me, I'm not lying to you. It's Tails. Okay, so we're not starting something new. So now, I need to decide. Grindstone? Part-time UFO? Or... What's another thing? Uh, or we could do just like, we could just chat while we play Hidden Through Time. I haven't started up part-time UFO in forever. I'm kind of thinking that. Let's just, just do this for a bit. We'll see how it goes. Um, we've beaten the main, the main story of, uh, uh, part-time UFO. Uh, it's a fantastic little puzzle, or puzzle game. It is a puzzle game. We're a part. We're a UFO, and we needed to find a part-time job. Um, Gizmo, part-time UFO. I love it. We finished. Uh, we finished Florence.
and the machine. Didn't find the machine. Oh, he saw this game. Looks, it is, it is super fun. It is honestly a little intense. Like, it's pretty. <laughs> there are some incredibly hard levels. Let's see if there was anything that I missed. Uh, I watched an interesting video about why UFOs look the way they do in Japanese culture. Was that um, Nicholas Nick Robinson? Nicholas Robinson. If so, then I also watched that video. Also, this song is incredibly catchy, and every level has the same song, but it's just remixed. Uh, hold on. Find work. Team up. Feats of glory. What was this? Oh, yeah. That's right. I did not get anywhere near to finishing this, because some of these are a little impossible. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's amazing. I've watched a lot of his videos. I think he's very funny. Uh, I should, oh, there was like a, there was like clearly a better, how do I change outfits? Oh, here probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's one that gives you quicker claw controls. Heavy stuff is a piece of cake. Move as quick as lightning. Fancy suit. Don't let heavy stuff weigh you down. Some of them don't do anything for you. I enjoyed his videos about the... Oh, yeah! I watched those, too. That was actually really hilarious. I, I want somebody to play that on stream. Though, I guess you have to know Japanese in order to do that. Wait, is there another page after this? Oh, there is. It starts you, like, in the middle. Okay, most of these... Hmm. What is the difference between the ones with the stars? Next to the three stars? Or, or next to the three medals? Some of them... What is this? Secretly put... Oh, you have to, like, find something secret, right? Hmm, I forget. Let's try to do the Tower of Infinity. Let's see how we... Let's see how we do. I'm sure I'm gonna do terrible having not played this game in forever. Follow the object as high as you can. Um. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, let go, let go. Alright. Next. Give me a challenge. Honestly, I feel like probably the one that's like... Move heavy objects is probably best, right? Down, put it down. Uh, Gizmo, what have you been up to? How's Florence? It was good. Very well done. Very short. It is only like 40 minutes. Um, and so I was trying to figure out what to play after this. Um, uh, and so that's why we're doing this right now. Just because of, um... Oh, boy. Uh, I feel like I, I'm still making, like, a base, but there's not going to be room for this. Um, but tomorrow we are playing uh, To the Moon. I think I remember you mentioning that one. I almost actually just started in Morangi Generation, but I flipped a coin and it said no. <laughs> it said. Okay, hold on. What? Will this stay over here? Can I put this down here or no? Oh. <laughs> I thought there was more room on the side. Um, I thought, <laughs> I thought there was, no, okay, cool. You know, let's try that again. That was just a, I thought there was more of a lip there, and so I was trying to lean it on the, no? It's okay, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Let's put it on the side. Okay. Oh, come on. Done. Ooh. 
good shape. This is a good shape, everybody. IMO. Oh, did you guys hear that the the uh, Marvel Disney Plus shows are leaving Netflix? Do you think they're going to be on Disney Plus? Is everything going to be moved on there? Do you think we're getting any new seasons of things? Are we getting a Daredevil season four? That'd be season four. Hey, oh, look, it's her twin. I haven't watched the last season of Jessica Jones or Punisher yet. I feel like Punisher was pretty good. Um, I thought season one of Jessica Jones, I think it's still my favorite out of the of the two, but I feel like, I wonder if we'll see any of them, like, will we see Jessica Jones, Iron Fist, uh, uh, Luke Cage, will we see them ever? I feel like Danny Rand, probably not. <laughs> I have a feeling that we might we might not see him again. Magic block. Oh wait. Oh. Uh. What? <laughs> it didn't. It did not give it to me. Uh. Neat. <laughs> I didn't know what was happening. That's okay. Uh. I'm hoping they go to Disney Plus, and it would make sense for them to do something with Daredevil. For sure, it makes some. It makes sense for them to do something with Daredevil. Probably not Danny. Yeah, I felt real bad. Apparently, they just had a ton of like production issues too. I honestly think that's part of it. That is that is my. This is what I'm choosing. That's my. It's my head cannon. The part of the issue was honestly just their production problems. I feel like he did okay. But their writing was awful. Their... The fight scenes were pretty bad, which... Oh, no. Ugh. Their fight scenes were pretty bad, which... For an Iron Fist show, you need to have good fight scenes. Um, but supposedly, they were learning the fight scenes on set. Okay, one. Uh, how awesome is that? Um, they were learning the fight scenes on set, like, 20 minutes before shooting them. Whew. Things that should not be happening. That. <laughs> they, like, didn't even do any, like, pre-choreography stuff. Or, like, they changed it from what they had practiced or something. It was kind of crazy. He did what he could. Agreed. Hey, okay, so that's how you're supposed to do that. Nice. Oh, look at this guy. Um... Yikes, yeah, there was like a whole bunch of production issues uh, when it came to like choreographing and, oh boy. Do not like the shape. <laughs> if I do this here, how bad is that going to like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we don't do that. But we could like lay this guy down. Uh, yeah, it just, it's, for everything that I heard about it, the production was just terrible. And I, I guess I heard, cause they, did, was there a season two of Iron Fist? No, surely there wasn't, right? I feel like I heard that either the last, or the season that they did got better as it progressed, or that it, if they did a second season, that the second season, there was. Okay, so then what I heard was the second season was better, but by that point, everybody dropped off. Oh no, okay, that's okay. Um, we watched the first season, tried starting the second, and just couldn't. At that point, you're just, you know. Oh no! <laughs> I accidentally dropped him. <laughs> it seemed worse to us, oh no. But hey, high score. And look, it's slowly following. I couldn't even get to 20 meters. Gosh. What? What? 
I know. <laughs> I'm Sag! Let's try it again. Oh, wait! Hold on. I think there was a mode we didn't play at all. Hold on, quit and go home. There's like a exploration mode or something. What is it called? Treasure Island, a tropical paradise. Vacation time on Treasure Island. You have to earn like keys or, or tickets. And we had one and I think I tried this and then <laughs> I kind of forget what this is like. It's like a roguelike. <laughs> or something. A treasure hunt in the mysterious ruins. Oh, that's how you do that. This is basically like the Metroid of, of UFO video gaming. <laughs> it kind of feels like it. Um, I think we did this once and then we stopped. This looks familiar. Yeah, war. I we just finished a game. It was only forty minutes, and uh, and so I was like, "What should we do?" And wait, not how this works. Not how this works. Do we need to bring it up here? Oh, hello. Uh, war. How are you doing? The, this is the Dark Souls for sure. Of of. Um, uh, Part-time jobs. Hello. Uh, okay, I think this first. Cold? Is it cold? So I played this game a while back, and I ended up uploading uh, most of it to YouTube, our playthroughs of it. And I had a random company try to... Um, c copyright claim that this song was theirs, and they copyright claimed like all of all of the versions of the song. Which, for those that don't know, the game um, has like every level is just every level is the part-time UFO theme. Um, I, need, I need you to. Eh. Uh, just remixed. Every level is the same same song, and so they copyright claimed it like so many times. And even though I don't make I I don't make any money off of anything on YouTube, I purposefully was like, no, I, I will not allow you guys to do this. So I I like went through the whole copyright claim process for each video um, because I was just like out of principle. I will not allow you to take this song from me. Because they were like, it's some Spanish song. I was like, what? No. <laughs> it's a theme song to this game. All right. Does that, does it at least need to be in the same area? That's all it needs to be. Wonderful. I went to my wife's classroom so she could grade stuff and the heat is off. No! <laughs> so much copyright strike fraud. I didn't mean to go into the door. Uh, out there, it's disgusting. 100%. I wish there was a way that they could just make this better. Oh. Um. Because, yeah, it is a little ridiculous. Oh, okay. Um. Because there's no, um. I should have. I should have known. Uh. <laughs> there's no, uh. Trying to see if I can fling it. Wait, maybe if I... Hold on. This is what I need to be doing. There we go. Now try to stop me. Now tr you can't. You can't stop me. 
it's actually impossible to lose a stock. Except for... Oh no! No! <laughs> I ran out of time! I lost so much time. Oh, that's so sad. I don't have any other tickets. <laughs> Uh, that's why I quit YouTube and I'd say other stuff, but your channel is family friendly. <laughs> I I only use YouTube for the... Oh, we barely have enough for another ticket. Wow. Maybe we need a part-time job. Um, let's try to get enough for two tickets. Um, uh, I only use YouTube to upload... Um, uh, my VODs. Oh, I think is it... Do you get that extra star if you're able to do it on, like, the second level? Um... So this is what the normal... <laughs> oh, I, am I even capable of lifting this up? Oh, it's because of the pumpkins. I'm, d I'm dumb. <laughs> Yeet. Yeet. I've made this harder for myself. Oh, but so, th and so the way some copyright stuff works is... If you at least, uh, so like a company can claim literally whatever they want. Um, you can then appeal it, uh, and essentially, um, oh, I bruised one of the fruits. Unfortunate. I wasn't careful enough. Um, if. Like, once you appeal it, I think they have to, like, escalate it past that. But usually they have, like... Oh, that one's going to get damaged. Um, if usually... They, they've they put out so many copyright claims that they have no, like, uh, time for uh, verifying everything. And so, like, if you wait a month, I think it is, it's like 20, 20 to 30 days or something. If there's, if the company hasn't proceeded further, um, it just goes back to you. So I did that for each one of these videos um, because I was like, <laughs> no, this is not this song at all that you're, you're saying it is. Uh, <laughs> it was ridiculous. And I even listened, so they even, like, provided, like, the clip of what they think is the, what sounded the same. Not close. Not close. But I, I, like, even though I didn't need to, I wrote, like, extensive, because you have to, you have to write, um... Where, where, what is this song? Like, why is this not the song? Why do you have the rights to use this song or whatever? And I was like, the song that they're claiming is not the same. I went into like an extremely long explanation for each. For people who rely on YouTube for income, it's ridiculous that any company can just arbitrarily shut down your revenue on a whim on it with the baseless claim. 100%. Dang, we made 1,700. Oh, no, we made 70. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, wait. Or did we? No, we did. Though I guess that 70 was like a bonus. Um, I've done this same out of spite. 100%. It's like, no. No, sir. I will not, I will not allow you to, to claim this. Um, <laughs> this is... Definitely not the same thing, so please stop. Ahoy and hooray, load 10 fish on board, and then we sail away. 
There was like a secret with this one, I think. Because you see, every song in this game is the same. It is, uh... It's just a different, like, mix to sort of, like, uh, complement whatever level that, that you're playing. Um, but yeah, I... <laughs> it's like, no thanks, this is... Sir. <laughs> whatever you think this is, you are incorrect. I will not be an accomplice to your shenanigans. I will fight this. I will die on this hill. And I did. Okay. I think it's like... Isn't there something with this? If you like There's like a special fish that appears. I thought. Maybe... Like, if you're going to make me fill out this form every time, I'm going to write incredibly long, <laughs> long-winded uh, forms for you, because this is ridiculous. Okay. Wait, do we really? Oh, you know what? I'm not putting... The reason why... The, I was like, I surely I have added as, as many as they need. It's because I haven't... Uh, some of the ones that I put on the ship are not fish. They're like... Squids and things. Oh, come here. That explains it. Okay. I don't know. Come to Papa. Zruki! Welcome in! How are you? Um... Uh, by the way, I, we were playing, I was playing Splatoon the other day, uh, not on stream, but, uh, uh, I was playing Splatoon the other day, and I saw, you were in my lobby, you are or like, not on, you weren't on, but like, your character was there, and I took a photo, I was like, there's Rookie. uh, <laughs> so I just, I just wanted to say that. Yeah, it was, uh, hold on, I'm sure I can find it. Because it was, like, just the other day. There's all these pictures of Square. Where is it? Before or after? When was it? Surely it was... Oh, wait, I can look by... Filter by game. Splatoon! Look! There you are! <laughs> oh, the, yeah, yeah, not the game lobby. Yeah, sorry, that's, that's not what I meant. You were, like, out in the, the public square or whatever. I didn't know what to call that. Uh, what is the name of the town? It has a name. Splatoon! I just saw that. Uh, fish fear him. It's true. Um... You've only taken two screenshots. Well, I had a... So, one. Take a look at how many photos I have right now. 3,585. This is after clearing out my memory card. Um, <laughs> I had too many photos, and I've taken too many again We're in, with this problem. Um, and uh, so, yeah. But I haven't played... I haven't played 3,000... Yeah. Honestly, though, <laughs> we have a lot of square photos. Lots of square photos. I, I mean, I had to go through all the ones for that little video I made, and I feel like we didn't even cover the majority of them. I chose 12 out of, like, a 1,000. Um, 
I take so many screens. Well, that's because you win so often, Square. Oh, no, my worst looking gear combo. I actually ordered something <laughs> off of your off of your gear, though. I can't remember what it was. Oh, absolutely, Square, if you would like to. I think I bought your shoes or hat because it had – wait, if you buy an item, does it come with the same power-ups or no? That's why I purchased it because <laughs> it. You uh, had one that had like all of the same, and I was like, "That's probably good." Zruki knows how to play Splatoon, <laughs> but does it the same base power up? Oh, shoes because the headgear and life vests are Grisco and can't be ordered. Then yes, and it was the shoes, and that makes sense. It wouldn't let me order those, so yes, that does that does make sense. Um. Okay, so cool. <laughs> Good to know that I... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so good to know that I may be wasting <laughs> a little bit of money. It's okay. It's fine. I'll, I'll learn more. My gear isn't great, but I think my character looks cool, which I think is important, which I think is maybe the most important. There's a small chance you get all the skills, but it's super small. Okay, 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 okay. That makes sense. Um, Uh-oh. Look at that. Who look who that is up at the top left. It is important to look fresh. And I think that is something that maybe a lot of people don't realize. That it's also a confidence thing. <laughs> uh wait, what am I doing? Uh did I did I win? Or did I run out of time? Oh, I did. I did the thing. Um 415 screenshots and videos in Splatoon for me. Oh, amazing. But uh, prob oh, probably rare gotcha rolls rare. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's, yeah, not very likely then. <laughs> 1,058 in Animal Crossing? There you go. Hey, Ron Anonymous! Welcome in. How are you? Uh, how's it going? Uh, yeah, so, um, uh, we played Splatoon the other day. That square guy is very good at Splatoon. Zruki, also very good at Splatoon. I am but a uh, a fledgling squid, or am I a kid? I don't really know. Um, but uh, but a fledgling early learner of Splatoon, and uh, I I will say though the blob blobber has become my best friend. I crumble when I go up against Japanese players. That's fair. But every time, Square, every t I said this the other day in your chat, every time you were on the other team when we played, I was like, oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Sally must go. I will see you all around. Zruki, we'll see you later. Hopefully we get to play some Splatoon again sometime soon. I am also very excited about Splatoon 3, so we will we'll be playing that too. Um, but I'll see you later. Have a good one. Um, I feel the same way about you. Oh, whatever, Square. Whatever. Don't even. You're being too nice. <laughs> I feel like it's more just because, not because I'm good, but because it's more the blah blobber than anything else. Uh, <laughs> it's 100% more the blah blobber than anything else. Corners are so dangerous when you're there. Well, that's, it's true. I, <laughs> I, my thought is, and I don't even know if it's necessarily a good strategy, but I, I do purposefully angle it in hopes that it just creates so much that I don't need to aim perfectly. <laughs> it's just that you have to avoid all of the blob blobs that are headed your way. Wait, Square is another Outrun themed streamer? It's true. It's true. Uh, you're dastardly. You do have a lot of uh, Outrun, Outrun themes, I would say. Your, uh, certainly your, like, backgrounds and stuff are very, very outrunny. Inspired? Outrun inspired? Um, uh, it's there. Is that on purpose? <laughs> Many outrun themed people here right now, and it's because it's so good. It's, it's hard to argue with some, some vaporwave or outrun. It's just too good. It's too good. 
Um, I am I am a sucker for it. More so just Vaporwave in general. More so going for Retro Wave. I see. And that makes sense. Uh, I could see that for sure. It even, it even comes across in your, like, badges and stuff. Um, but, uh... But the Blob Lobber is just great. I need the... There's, like, a second Blob Lobber, right? Like, an upgraded one? But it's, like, way higher level than me. If I recall. I think I hit level 14 or 15. I think I hit 14. Um, so I think I have a ways to go before, like, an upgraded Blob Lobber. But I'm curious how that one is. My badges are NES and GV carts because I'm a retro game collector, and I used to play NES games on stream. They're pretty out of date now. Square, when did you start streaming? As in, I should really have Lego badges, uh, but uh, they're they're kind of classic. I really like how they look. I say Vaporwave because it's basically all the same thing. To someone who doesn't know it very well, but I say Outrun to people who have that style. Yeah, for sure. I guess, well, and I, I feel like some people be like, well, Vaporwave is like the music, kind of, right? But I I feel like it, no, Synthwave is probably the music. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I have, I don't think I've, I've ne I don't think I've ever played Outrun. Um, it's more, <laughs> but we do love the, the, the red car usually on like a, uh, you know, purple gridded, flooring that's probably moving it's just the aesthetics right synth wave vapor wave future funk signal wave, all the anything that's waving i'm here for it <laughs> it's all the same it's true there's like uh there's like four subreddits that i have subscribed to that are all like i think one's vapor wave outrun uh probably synth wave and i can't remember what the other one is but it's like cross-posted all of them. <laughs> like, they're all the same content. It's all what people think the 80s look like, even though it didn't. Yeah. It is a, it's a very, um, idealized, romanticized view of, uh, of the, of the 80s. Uh, and it's music. But the music is also super good. Uh, I have, like, a few, like, vapor wavy playlists, synth wavy playlists, whichever you'd like to say. Um, it's just so good. Although Signal Wave is very, very niche. It's a fever dream to listen to even way more so than Vaporwave. Oh, I think... I think I found one that is specifically more like Japanese. Like it is the the outrun Vaporwave style, but it's like... And Synthwave music, but it's all like the Japanese versions of that music and that style and whatever. It's also very specific, but it's, like, also really good. Uh, do you listen to Cassiopeia? I don't think so. I They may have appeared in one of my playlists, but no. Um, and is that supposed to be also, like, Casio? Isn't that, like, Casio tapes or something like that? Uh, True Square, but that's just a part of 80s music. There's glam metal that's all... Yeah, yeah. It's it's that like synthy thing that it's it's what a lot of people think. What was Casio? It's an it's an electronics company. I feel like they did tapes. I feel like they did tapes. They're a Japanese funk band from the seventies and eighties. It's incredible, amazing. Um, I'm trying to see. Basically all Japanese NES. And music was inspired by them. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, have you ever played Katana Zero by any chance? The soundtrack is very um, uh, kind of of the same style for the most part. Do I have... Um... Okay, but I really got to go now. No, no, no. You're so good. Zuruki, thank you for coming in and saying hello. Always fun talking talking with you. Uh, <laughs> hold on, let's, uh, this is the, um, this is the, uh, Katana Zero theme song. I haven't, but I've had my eye on it for a while. It, I love Katana Zero. I actually recently got, do I still, do I have it in this room? 
I don't think so. I showed it off the other day, but I got the um, vinyl uh, for it. And uh, I haven't played it yet, but it is like the, the artwork and stuff in it is just so cool. It is more of like a puzzle game than like just a strict action game because it's, it's sort of like, um, I don't know if you ever played Hotline Miami, which is a, a very violent game, but uh, essentially you just need to clear all the enemies from every stage. Uh, I would say Hotline Miami is way more like action focused Katana Zero has more of like a puzzle dynamic where it's almost like a puzzle solving how you're going to get everybody. Um, so you can kind of take your time if you want to, but uh, it's just so much fun. I love it. We, I am tempted. It, <laughs> I think I've said I am tempted to play it on stream. It is a bit intense at times, so it might have to be like a Jet After Dark because it, it kind of rides that line of being a little, of, t of teetering it, uh, teetering that line of like, could you play this on a family friendly stream? Uh, <laughs> it, it sort of rides that line of like, huh, there are some darker moments in it, but, um, uh, but it could be passed. Like you can kind of just move past it. I loved Hotline Miami. I am so annoyed that the sequel was denied classification in Australia so we can't buy it here. That's right. And since the first one is bundled with it on Switch, it means I can play neither. Oh, no. Have you? I mean, well. <laughs> if you need me to send you a copy, let me know. I'll, I'll, uh. <laughs> I also got to go. Still have work today. See you all next time. Ronin, thanks for coming in. Thanks for saying hello. I appreciate it. Uh, we'll see you later. Uh, but Square, if I need to, you know, maybe when I, if I come visit... Australia. I'll like, I'll hide it in a book or something. I'll like, you know, glue the pages, cut out a little thing. To be honest, I'm not sure that would work. It's, uh, I know the Switch is, um, uh, what's it called? Oh, wait, well, oh. Oh, a physical copy. I guess that would work. Because <laughs> it is, uh, region free, right? Oh, and happy Arts Day to you all. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, we're, uh, thank you, Ronan. Thank you. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day as well. Um, it's region free, but would they know? Would they, like, be able to detect it? It's like a uh, Nintendo of Australia, like, oh, we hear, like, you know, we're watching. We're watching you. We see that you got this game. Um... Yeah, it's intense. Uh, Katana Zero is similar, but um, uh, but very different though. It feels much more of like a puzzle game than anything else. Oh, my mind went to sending a key. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no I'd sneak you in a copy. I'd like, you know, I'd do the cut a hole in a book, put it in there, close the book, and be like, here, Square, I got this for you. This book that you want I I it's a good book <laughs> and then some I somehow I have to sneak it past um, like customs but you know you know how it goes but it's worth it for gaming totally worth it uh, we might play so okay Katana Zero is actually getting a DLC a free DLC soonish it was actually supposed to come out last year. It's, there's only, like, one guy who works on the game. Uh, so it's gotten delayed, plus, it, like, the amount of content has, like, tripled that was going to be in it. It was going to be, like, a really short DLC. Um, however, um, it's now currently, from the last update, it is now currently uh, half as long as the main game at this point. And it's going to be for free, so I, I'm excited to play it, but if I do play it on stream, I then want to start from the beginning in the case anybody wants to know what, what's, like, happening. So, um... Oh, man, hold on. There's this game I reckon you'd love. It's one of my favorite games. I'm blanking on the title. BRB. Hey, let me know. Let me know what it is. Gunpoint. I think I've heard of it. It's so good. Hold on. Gunpoint. Game. 
Ooh. A stealth-based puzzle platformer game. Love it. I do love stealth, first of all. Look at the graphics, too. Oh, oh, this is actually really cool. Pretty short, so good. Oh, interesting. I think I've heard of it. I just have never played it. That looks super cool. 2D stealth game about rewiring things and punching people. Okay, I'm going to have to look into this. This looks dope. And I do I I generally love any game that I can I can do some stealth work in. Uh before your time, I played Skyrim for a bit. We will we'll go back to that at some point. Um but I essentially crouch walked everywhere. Uh my stealth levels are incredibly high. <laughs> They're incredibly high. Uh and <laughs> I just love it so much. There are other games that were inspired by it, but not as good. I could see that. I think I've seen that um, that style of game quite a bit, so that that makes sense. And but I think I'd heard of it, but I had never haven't picked it up. So I'll have to look into that because that'd be that'd be fun. Um, let me see here. Let's do another level, the work site. Let's get some more monies. Um, Put up the pillars and add a roof. Let's build a temple. Okay. Let's start with this. Um. What do you think? Oh no! I almost knocked that guy over. Um. But I would highly recommend... If you like Hotline Miami... Um, I'd recommend... Uh, uh, I still listen to the Hotline Miami soundtrack. Uh, even though I haven't played the game in so long. The soundtrack is so good. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I think we need to... Hold on. Let's, let's place this guy down. My pull oh do it. I think you'll I think you'll enjoy it. It has a really good story. The music is is fantastic. Um and let's put him in here. Uh the music is fantastic. Where should I put No, we need this first. Um uh, and all of, overall, just like a really well done game. The, the mechanics are very puzzly. Um, uh, there are like multiple ways you can solve a level, but oh, this is maybe a bad idea. It goes as low as forty percent off. I'll put on my wish list. Nice, do it. Uh, and especially with the, the free content update that's happening, <laughs> I felt very concerned about this choice. But it only honestly seems to be okay. Um, uh, it, it's uh, very much worth it. You'll enjoy it. Oh, wait. I don't need... No, I need to put the roof on it. That is one thing it said. Okay, hold on. I need this piece. Give me... This is, this is working out well. This is uh, this is good, everybody. I'm not strong enough to like push that. I need scooch this. Oh, <laughs> yes, nice, good, good, good. Can I? I guess that could have worked. That actually probably works better. Uh, but yeah, okay, hey, not a problem. Okay. Alright. I was not watching the time. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, but hey, we did it. Now all we need is the roof. We, we didn't do it in the time required. 
that's okay. There you go. Whew. Honestly, a, a stable structure, and I would live there. Oh. oh, so if you can get it perfectly at like a, a 90 degree an angle, right? That'd be 90 degree. You get like more, more monies. Did not do that. Okay, let's see. Um... Let's try the tropical island one more time. The one thing I'm gonna do though, I think I would rather do the heavy stuff is stronger. Look at how dope I look. Treasure Island. I don't even know what those these treasure chests on this thing are. Oh, we don't have tickets. Hold on. Let's go to the shop. Let's buy as many as we can. Three tickets. I think if we have tickets on us, if we die, we can, or the time runs out, you can just continue where you left off, so we'll have a couple extra. I'm gonna try to see if we can make it to the end. Don't move as fast. Also, there was a treasure chest that we didn't get last time. And I'm curious now. Let's see, how do we get this? Oh boy. Off to a good start. get that chest? These certainly do not move as fast. But at least it's like we're not slowed down and we actually pick up some of the heavy objects, so that's maybe better. Like, what do we do there? No idea how to open that. Those are four. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Nope. But look at that catch. Definitely did not mean to do that. And lost both of them, in fact. Come on. The clock is racing. Oh, look at that. Got a coin. I see what that is. So 
So hold on, how about... Is this something? Do we get... <gasps> Treasure! I know! How do I get this thing, though? Scared. Um... By the way, Gizmo. Um, how much of the ending of, um, Earthbound do you know of? I know you've said you've seen, like, some of it. Oh, you know what? That was dumb. Oh, no. This is, this is terrible. This was bad. This is bad. <laughs> Ooh! Dodge. Can I? Great. Woo! Okay. So I need this. I'm sure. That did nothing. <laughs> that did. We're doing real good, everybody. Don't worry. Uh, I just know the guy get. Okay, okay, okay. okay. You s you had said that you had you uh, knew a little bit of it, and so I was curious how much you'd heard. Um, okay, let's do this for a second. Gosh. Hmm. Oh, no. What do I... Hmm. I feel like... Oh, okay. Uh... <laughs> no! Try again. Can we do start here? No. What? <laughs> we start from all the way back here. This is an incredibly difficult mode. Actually, the Dark Souls of... Oh, great. <laughs> Actually, Dark Souls. So we get a coin. Pokemon, welcome in. How are you doing? We uh we played a game called Florence earlier. It's about a, a game about love. Um and uh, to celebrate Valentine's Day, and now we're playing because it's only a 40 minute game. Uh, we then switched over to uh, this game that we played a while back called Part Time UFO. Um, I'm playing like a side mode that's on it, just for funsies, just for a bit we head out, but I'm doing good. How's your day been? I'll have to go get that. What's this game? It's called Part-Time UFO. Uh, the main game is just stacking objects that are very difficult to stack. This is like a mode that you unlock after you've played a bit of it. And so you're progressing through a dungeon, and it is it, honestly incredibly difficult. Uh, you were like, you have a time limit every time. If you get hit by something, the time limit goes down by a ton. Not easy. I'm honestly surprised this is the second stage. Uh, <laughs> to be honest, this is. Eh. 
Oh wait, I forgot. I need that. <laughs> I need that there. I'm wasting time. All right, come on. I need you to block this thing for me. Yep. Woo. Look at that. Okay. I'm actually a pro now. Uh, well, how have you been? How was your day? watch out for are the bats. Look at us go. I have never gotten past this part. <laughs> so it's all new for me here. Five besides the fact went to sleep super early 8 p.m. ish and now I'm awake at 3 a.m. No that has happened to me too many times. Oh Okay, so I'm supposed to stack it onto there somehow. Okay, we got that piece. Let's see if we can... Okay, dodge. I'm gonna have to balance it on the fish, it looks like. Send, send more to me, please. Dodge. Yes, dodge. Perfect, look at us. Oh. Oof. Okay. Not good, not good. There's no way this is going to fit. Wow, look at that. We're good. No! How will we balance this? Maybe a big one here? Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Uh. Oof. Look at that. Expert pilot skills. Okay. The main game is more like this, where each level is sort of like, woo! Okay, it doesn't... No! It does move them! Oh, no. 50 seconds. We can do that, right? Okay. Come on, UFO. I have to get out of the way for this. Perfect. 30 seconds. Can we do it? Mine! Ooh. Oh, and those are the treasures I got. We missed one.
This is the first time we've completed it. Wait, so I missed all of those? I know for sure I saw one. Maybe... Oh, they're, they must be in the, the fire level, I guess? Oh, you got the explorer outfit. Does it do anything? La laughing in the face of death. What does that mean? GG? I know, right? Hold on, I'm curious. Part-time UFO explorer. You'd be surprised. Oh, wait. List of unlockables. I was going to say, you'd be surprised. There's actually not a lot of info about this game. Uh... Where's the explorer outfit? I don't think it does anything. Some of them have extra abilities. I only use the other outfit that the default, okay. Hmm. I don't think it does anything. And I guess if you want like an explorer outfit, I guess that's cool. But give me something cooler than that. Um, we got the main thing. I think you can re keep playing that mode if you'd like to do get more coins. It looks like you actually make a lot of money off of it, but I don't know if I want to continue that. Hey, what did we get here? Clear Treasure Island. Yeah. We're still missing. Oh, buy every outfit in the shop and then something. Maybe you have part time you have owed myself out. Oh, wait, why is something shiny now? It looked like there was something shiny. Does that mean anything? Maybe it doesn't mean anything. It just says new, but what is what's what is new? Some of these levels I remember being very difficult. Yeah, I don't know what, it says there's something new. No idea what it is. Um, now the final question is, should I play something else for just a little bit or should I leave? Let's go for another like 20 minutes, I think. Let's go for another 20 minutes and we're gonna switch to a game that I haven't played in a bit but it's easy to play. And it's easy to chat with as well. We're gonna play some Grindstone. I'm feeling it. I need something simple. I want something simple to play. And I think this is it. If you guys haven't played Grindstone, it's honestly really fun. Uh, and pretty simple. Oh gee, part-time UFO, we actually, just, <laughs> I just finished it. Or, Oh, the game changed. Yeah, yeah. We were playing part-time UFO for a little bit. Love is in the air with this new update. New Valentine's decorations in the inn. And daily grind should drine. Uh, new gold heart arrow. A loving update to the Cupid cosplay suit. Valentine's themed effects. Various bug fixes and polish. Head to the mountain to share some of the love. Uh, what is this? But welcome back, Brenner. How's your day going? Are you watching the Super Bowl? Uh, oh, that's right. I missed that hat that I wanted. 
There was like a cool hat that you could get, and I totally forgot about it. And I didn't... I didn't, uh, play enough. Yep, Super Bowel? How is the Super Bowel? Uh... Where is... Cupid cosplay gives creeps that love and feeling and gives Georgia a chance for a free heart. I love my Santa outfit though. What does this look like? Hilarious. Let's wear my um my Santa outfit still. It gives you uh it gives you more um uh like random gifts. I can't remember what I was doing. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. We'll figure it out. Uh, this game is very simple. It's like a match three, sort of. It's a match most of you, as most, at least three. It's a match at least three. You get like um, extra combos for, um, oh boy. You get extra combos. Uh, and do more damage if you are able to, um, hmm. if you're able to, like, string more than 10, I think. Um, is this the best way? I think this is the best way. Uh, if you get more than 10, a grindstone drops, which is, well, there's that gem in the center. It allows you to switch colors mid, um, kind of, like, combo. Uh, there are these enemies that have, like, a number. You need to at least meet, meet that number in order to, to kill them. Um, so, okay, we are gonna go... Okay, I was like, why is why did the number drop? It's because we go to fight or hit that skele skeleton. Seven, eight, nine. We don't have enough for ten. Is there any way? Hold on. Can I do this and then switch color? No. There's, like, some rules on, like, if you hit certain objects, you are allowed to switch colors. Um, maybe it's better that we take care of this guy. That seems... That seems better to me. Uh, let's stop here. And as you play enough rounds of this, um, you, okay. Well, this isn't good. Oh, there's a grindstone, but it's so far away. Oh, so also you'll see that some of them look really angry. <laughs> That is because they're very angry. Um, gosh, I can't look. I think the only way I can move is if I go here. Four. I can't get to him because I need to at least have hit five. But the ones that are, like, shaking, it means that they will attack. Um... If you're standing next to them, they have like a. They have 
have like a little attack range. And you have three hearts that you can use. Okay. So now. That takes care of one. Uh, go here. Seven, eight, and I stop here. Let's try that. You, you generally want to at least hit 10 so you can get a grindstone so that you can make longer combos. Okay, so there's one guy who has a key currently and then there's a treasure chest. We also need to open that up. Um, the one thing is, is that the longer the rounds go, the harder it gets. Five. If I go here. Here's out some of those. We're stuck. In every level, you can get... There's a boss, like a mini boss, a treasure chest, and a... Oh, yeah, there's a mini boss, a treasure chest, and then opening the main door. So that crown guy has just appeared in front of me. In order for him to be defeated, I have to hit him with a certain color. Let's do this. I think this is somewhat smart. We'll get the key. Take out two skeletons. And hopefully we'll be able... safe. So the, the guy with the crown is in red, which means that I need to have hit five red enemies before getting to him. Um, and I can use a grindstone in order to like reach that number. So I think that's actually what I'm probably going to have to do. Five, six. So there we go. That would be enough. I can then do this, and I open up the chest. Let's do that. Wait, you're out here screaming your lungs at the TV? Is the game good? Slobs spoils. Got something. Are the are is your team winning? I honestly could not tell you what team is currently playing, but I hope the best for them. Uh, how do I check? Ah, okay. This shows me what squares will be attacked. I do okay that way I don't get <laughs> the 
only thing I have to do is leave. to do this. I just kind of want... Well, maybe it's just better that we leave. There you go. Uh, no, I don't have a team playing today, but that the highest level of any competition a small mistake could be catastrophic. That's fair. That's... It's, it's easy to get hyped. Hyped with a game like that. Ooh, a blueprint. <laughs> Oh, you see, this is Valentine's Day. Look, there are hearts on the screen. Back to the inn. Let's see what we unlocked. Uh... Oh, also the music in this game is incredible. A bone shard shield blocks attacks for one turn and launches three deadly bone shards when hit. That is, let's craft that. Let's swap. Uh, wait. There you go. It, the thing is, is that it has to be repaired. That is the only downside, I think. Yeah, the, the one that I had before does not need to be repaired. A heart-seeking arrow killing a creep with this will drop a hearty snack. I might as well use that for now, anyways. Heart potion. Weakens all jerks and other strong enemies by one HP. Guaranteed resources ah, from destructible objects. Interesting. Okay. I love the music in this game. Uh. Oh, that's what we did. Okay. Destroy a bad cave. The game is pretty well done. It's actually really funny. The, I really love the art style. It kind of reminds me of Adventure Time, sort of. And honestly, the, like, main game mechanic is pretty fun. Right. If I can do... I wish you could, like, put points towards an enemy. Uh, or, like, to an obstacle. Just can't. So, like, the, um... The thing that keeps creating skeletons is worth 12... as 12 hit points. That means I have to... I have to uh, have hit 12 enemies or items before reaching that point. It's just difficult. Does this allow me to change color? It does. I could break this, but we would be stuck. See, it hit people around me. Nice. Okay. All right. 
going to be the best way here. Can I make... there blue maybe I'd have oh yeah there we go here we go Woo! and I have enough for that oh, but I will get oh I can continue this no okay that's probably the best outcome Still need the treasure chest. There it is. Get that key. Let's use a uh, shield again. I think that's as far as we can go. safe here? I am. Where's that guy? So in order to get to him... Heyo. I will get hit. Nope. I should be fine. I'll be fine. Take out the skeleton. Get the boss. Get his crown. Now we just need to make it to the exit. Let's, uh, we You can get more stuff if you stick around. I think you get better items if you do. shield only has one more use left. So we might want to go back and try to refill it? I forgot how expensive that is. Just take a quick look. We'll probably do more level. Armory. Ten of that. One of that. Eighteen. I'm sorry, one of those. I only have 18 left. That's fine. Ooh, 
Let's try this, and then we'll, we'll probably end after this one. We've done a lot today. I usually only play one game a day. Maybe two at max. Woo! Oh, that's a bad game. I see. Oh, I see now. Oh, boy. I'm supposed to hit 12? I assume every... Oh, wow! That's actually expensive to refill. I thought... It refilled it entirely, only fills it up by one, so that those are actually expensive to use. But I think you need to do that. Um, hmm. Let's just do this. Okay, hold on, we actually have. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We're so close to getting a 12. I'm not missing one. There's actually literally nothing else we can do. We can't. We actually. We're only starting around purples. What if. No, that would be a waste. Um. I think it might be smarter for us to. We stop here, we will get hit once. Actually, we'll get hit twice, probably. Oh no, we'll get hit once. It, I see, it shows you which, um, it shows you which bat thing is going to go next, because it's shaking. Um, if we go here, we will get hit once. Maybe I'll use this. Okay, what do we got? Purple seems to be the most... better to clear out as many as you can usually, but We're going to hope for more things we can work off of. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oof. I wish we could. I think that's our best. Use this, I can five, six, seven. Nope. Well, I mean, I can still do this. I 
really mostly hoping we can, like... I guess this would get us another grindstone. Let's do that. Stone, so let's do that. This is actually hard because there's that guy. I need to hit purple. I think we can. Let's see. We do this. to destroy a bat cave, but I don't think we're going to be able to. But hey, that's a good one. This is hard because the bats, they like clear out um, rows or maybe like you'd be able to connect something, but... Okay. Can we get to that green? to grindstone on that if I can help it. Open the door, because we hit our goal number in the chest. And now, is it possible? I don't think so. This one is, this one's pretty difficult. I don't think we'll, we'll be able to arrange this enough to get to hit one of those bad caves. We'll just we'll just head out. I like that it gives you that option. If you want, you can stick around, but you so if you die in one of these things, you lose a lot of the, the things that you collected in that match. So it's better it's I think it's overall better to leave than to try to um stay for too long because eventually the longer you stay harder bosses start appearing and if you've gotten hit at all it just gets worse a cursed sword weakens all jerks and other strong enemies by one HP I wonder how that works do you have to be in range for that to happen Lurk doing a super duper hard lurk while eating nachos and watching the Super Bowl. We were actually about to head out, but thank you so much, Secret, for that lurk. Uh, we played a, a lovely game. Uh, and we, we beat it. It's only 40 minutes long. And so we just have been playing some mini games since then. Uh, but we're actually going to be heading out. I said we would complete this one level and then finish. But tomorrow we will be back with another Valentine's Day E uh, romantic E type game? Question mark? That's at least what I've heard. I really don't know much about the game we're playing tomorrow. If I had you on the TV while working, hey, do not, do, do not ever apologize for anything, Square. Never apologize. 
Um, <laughs> that's what I've learned. You just you just never apologize. Um, that's that's bad advice. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, while Secret texts me asking details and I'm texting back angrily. Amazing. Thank you for the quality hangout, Lurk Entertainment. Got a lot of cleaning done and I'm finishing dyeing my hair. Nice. What color? What color are you dyeing your hair? Let me see. Is there anybody? Um, let me see here. Uh, we are going to raid, I think. I just dyed it a naturalish, reddish orange. Nice. That's awesome. I've always thought about dyeing my hair something, but I feel like it's expensive. <laughs> oh, wait. What is this? Oh, wait. I just noticed a lot of the house is like, or a lot of this building is decorated Valentine's Day. Oh, that's great. But I don't think... There's nothing else. There's no like mechanics. It's just visual. Well, that's neat. Hello? Uh, that's awesome though. Um Please take a hand. So, okay. Uh thanks for the stream. Hey, we are going to raid somebody playing Outer Wilds. I don't know how far they are in into it. Um but it's a uh, it's a guy named Merle Cause. Uh he's actually raided us before. He's a VTuber. Um and uh uh, we will be we will right over there. They're a family-friendly stream. This community is really nice. Um, and uh, they popped in a few weeks ago. A, couple, a week or two ago. So we'll just go say hello. Um, uh, you're a natural blonde, so thankfully you don't have to bleach. But I dye my hair a lot because the blonde feels wrong now. <laughs> it would be... That, that's the one thing is that I, I think it would take a lot of bleach for my hair. My hair is very, very black. Um, <laughs> and so I feel like it would be difficult. <laughs> also, I feel like I, I don't know, not that I would regret it, but I feel like I would do it and then be like, oh yeah, this was a bad choice. <laughs> but now I have to live with this for a bit. But we'll see. I don't know. That's, it's, it's not even really on my radar, I suppose. But, uh, tomorrow we will be back with To the Moon. Um, we will play it. Uh, and I think... Uh, we will, we should be streaming right around 12 p.m. my time, which is about 1 p.m. Pacific. I'll keep you guys updated. If you're not in the Discord, great way to keep, keep up with, uh, with all the things. Uh, but anyway, you guys can join us in for the raid. Say hello to Merle, uh, a very, a very nice family-friendly streamer. Um, but before I do that real quick, let me give a few thank yous. Uh, to uh, Cool Pro Ness. Uh, I just realized, is that supposed to be like Super Smash Brothers Ness? Is that what it is? That makes sense to me. Uh, and Gizmo, thank you for the raid. Runner for all those bits and for those extra bits right there. Uh, Mr. Sassy Panda for resubscribing. Best Biscuits to gifting us up to Bee Baby. Uh, and everyone for hanging out. I appreciate, you know, the chats and stuff. Uh, this was more of a random stream, more unplanned, because that game was awfully short. It was really good. 40-ish 40, 40 minutes, pretty quick. I think To the Moon will take us a little bit longer. Um, and maybe voices? <clears throat> so get ready for that. <laughs> if, you, if you liked what you just heard, that really high-pitched squeak, then... Boy... Do I have a stream for you tomorrow? Because I, I, I think it's... I don't think there's any voice acting. Thank you for the good vibes. Thank you for being here, Square. Appreciate it, everybody. Thanks for, for hanging out. We're going to start the raid. Oh, last time I did a raid, last stream, which was yesterday... Nope, Friday. We didn't raid yesterday. Um. <laughs> Thank you for the straight AM smile. <laughs> Gizmo, you didn't have to do that. But thank you for those corgi bits. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, the last time we raided, it actually just canceled. Some, it just like it failed, uh, and so nobody went anywhere. If that happens again, that's okay. <laughs> you just go on with your day. 
but I appreciate it. I, I I'm thankful for the the hangouts, uh, <laughs> and for sticking around for the raid. Always fun. Um, but uh, anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Oh, I don't think we talked about this. Did we talk about? I love to the moon. I uh, well, if you'd like to be here tomorrow, it'd be wonderful. Hopefully, it's it's hopefully it's good. I really don't know what to expect. I haven't read very much about it. Did I mention we have new emotes? <laughs> we have dead now. And I did have to, and I wanted to. We we have dead now, and we also have Jetpack 13 Note, which is a bits emote. So we have that too. I forgot to mention that. Maybe I'll mention it t uh, tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, have a great day. <laughs> I hope you have a good one. I'll see you tomorrow, friends. I'll see you over at Merle's. Bye-bye!